Chapter 1121. Cao Clan. Xiao Yan had just exited the pill refinement room when he saw the little fairy doctor outside. He quickly walked to her and frowned as he asked, what has happened? The little fairy doctor spread her hands as she glanced at the frowning Xiao Yan. She replied, the Yi clan has encountered some trouble. Trouble? There is still someone who dares to find trouble the Yi clan? Xiao Yan's eyes swept around him and discovered that the Yi clan's guards, who were originally here, had already left. Clearly, the trouble this time around was not ordinary. However, the thing that caused Xiao Yan to feel a little strange was that there were very few people who dared to find trouble with the Yi clan after the big battle back then. Just who had come this time around? The ones who have come this time around are not an ordinary faction. The little fairy doctor appeared to understand what Xiao Yan was thinking when she glanced at him. She laughed, Cao clan, one of the five great clans of the Pill region. Cao clan? Xiao Yan knit his brows. He had naturally heard of the five great clans of the Pill region. This Cao clan was one of them. Of course, this clan could not be compared with the declining Yi clan. There seemed to be a never-ending number of talented alchemists in that clan. This caused the reputation of the Cao clan to grow greater. Other than the Dan clan, which kept an extremely low profile, it was likely that the Cao clan was the strongest among the five great clans. Moreover, the Cao clan was considered part of the upper echelons of the Pill Tower. With this backing, even a faction like the Ice River Valley would not dare to easily offend them. After all, everyone in the Central Plains knew about the Pill Tower's ability. That was why the Cao clan was on the rise. The influence of the Pill region was expanding. Compared to the declining Yi clan, one could be considered in the sky while the other was on the ground. Why have they come to find trouble with the Yi clan? Xiao Yan mused. He did not expect the Cao clan to come and interfere. It seems to be because of a marriage related to Xin Lan. Back then, when Yi Zhong and the others were in a desperate situation, they had planned to get Xin Lan to marry into the Cao clan. Thus, the Cao clan would be able to help them pass the test. However, the Yi clan would end up being swallowed by the Cao clan. Therefore, the Yi clan gave up on this marriage after you arrived. Who would expect the Cao clan to suddenly come and insist on bringing Xin Lan away? The little fairy doctor explained the situation. Xiao Yan's expression slightly sank upon hearing this. This Cao clan was quite overbearing. They might say that they want to marry Xin Lan, but it was likely their intentions were the Yi clan. Where is old Mr. Yao? He is already present in the front yard, standing guard and preventing the Cao clan from using force. Xiao Yan nodded. He mused for a moment before turning around and heading to the front yard. He gravely said, let's go, I want to see just how great this Cao clan is. This is the first time that I have heard of something like forcefully snatching someone. The little fairy doctor smiled and lowered her chin. She gently shifted her feet and followed close behind. A large group of people were currently clustered in the front yard of the Yi clan at this moment. The atmosphere was exceptionally intense, on the brink of breaking into a fight. The spacious front yard was clearly divided into two lineups. On one side was Yi clan's group, while on the other side was nearly a hundred pale red-robed human figures. These people were standing extremely straight. Their auras were quite domineering. Their eyes, watching the Yi clan's group, revealed the superiority they felt. Of course, the position the current Cao clan had in the Pill region was not something that the Yi clan could compare with. There were two red-robed old men standing at the front of the Cao clan's group. These two people wore indifferent expressions. A majestic aura was permeating their bodies. Both of their hands were inserted into their sleeves. From the looks of it, they were not ordinary people. Of course, the one that was the most eye-catching was not these two people. Instead, the most eye-catching were a grey-robed old man and a young man wearing purple-colored alchemist's robes. The grey-robed old man appeared to be quite old. His face was filled with heavy wrinkles, and he appeared to be near the end of his life. However, by being able to stand right at the front, one did not even need to use one's head to know that the status of this person was definitely extraordinary. Moreover, anyone with even a little potential would be able to discover a dangerous aura radiating from him, despite it not appearing as majestic as the two red-robed old men. This aura was something the two red-robed old men could not compare with. The man wearing a purple-colored alchemist robes was young and handsome. However, there was a haughtiness that was difficult to hide under his handsome appearance. Of course, just by looking at the badge on his chest, no one would comment on his arrogance, because he had the qualification to be this haughty. The badge was pale blue in color, and it vaguely appeared as though it was being burned by fire. 
the interior of the flame was a tower figure. Seven bright purple gold stars were shining around the tower, causing it to appear extremely glaring. Tier 7 Alchemist. Moreover, it was an alchemist badge that was issued by the Pill Tower. This young man, who appeared to be less than 30 years old, was actually a Tier 7 alchemist. Young Master Cao Dan, my Yi clan is indeed at fault for revoking the agreement back then. However, the Cao clan did not protest even a little before this, yet it has shown up with a fanfare now. May I know what you mean by this? Yi Zhong solemnly demanded. His expression was a little ugly as he studied this group of people who had come with ill intent. Kiki, Elder Yi Zhong must be joking. How can such a big event like marriage be treated as child's play? Your Yi clan took the initiative to mention it back then. How will you let my cow clan account to the outside world now that you have suddenly retracted it? The young man wearing the purple-colored alchemist's robes faintly smiled. His hand was gently clenched, and a wisp of flame jumped over the tip of his finger. He immediately glanced at Yi Zhong. Could it be that elder Yi Zhong is purposefully playing with the cow clan? Yi Zhong's expression changed upon hearing this. Cao Dan, you better not try to twist your words to make up for you fallacious argument. Everyone knows of your Cao clan's wild ambition in wanting to swallow my Yi clan. You don't need to use such a matter as an excuse. The green-faced Xin Lan could not endure Cao Dan's overbearing manner, resulting in furiously crying out. The young man smiled at the pretty, green face of Xin Lan. He said, Xin Lan, no matter how you put it, I am still considered your fiancé. It is really a little too unruly of you to scream at me. I will teach you some proper manners once you enter the Cao clan in the future. Young Master Cao Dan, this marriage was only at an initial stage, where it is still being considered. No actual decision had been made. Therefore, my Yi clan has the right to revoke it. Yi Zhong's expression sank as he said, Xin Lan will not marry into the Cao clan. We will treat this marriage as non-existent in the future. I hope that young master Cao Dan will not continue pestering us over this matter. Cao Dan narrowed his eyes upon hearing Yi Zhong's words. He said with a faint smile, Ki Ki, the current Yi clan really does have some ability. Do you really think that your Yi clan can regain the glory of back then after the big battle in Yi City? My Cao clan is not the Ice River Valley. Cao Dan's words contained an additional denseness to them when he finished speaking. Yi Zhong's face became green when he heard Cao Dan be this blunt. However, he did not dare to say anything to contradict him. The Cao clan had produced quite a number of outstanding alchemists. Its ability to gather people was even greater than the Ice River Valley's ability. Moreover, it had also helped some of the Du's unclass super existences refine medicinal pills throughout the continent. With this favor, these people would likely not reject the request of the Cao clan. Should these people be gathered together, their might would indeed be at a level that even the Ice River Valley could not compare with. Cough. Yi Zhong, there are some things that cannot be retracted once said. Since you have mentioned it, the Cao clan will lose a great amount of face if it is retracted. Moreover, having a marriage with the Cao clan will also be quite beneficial to your Yi clan. The gray-clothed old man, who had not spoken since the beginning, finally raised his eyes and slowly said. Today, we have come on the order of the head of the Cao clan. We must bring the person with us. Yi Zhong's expression changed upon hearing this. However, he was a little afraid when he looked at this gray-clothed old man. He bitterly replied, even Lu Yi Zun Ji has personally come. The Cao clan really thinks highly of my Yi clan. A marriage to the Cao clan might perhaps temporarily resolve our urgent problems, but this Yi clan would likely have to change its surname to Cao in the future. Therefore, I cannot abide by this. The gray-clothed old man shook his head. He slowly shifted his foot forward. After he took this step, a frightening aura immediately surged out of nowhere, like a large wave that had become hundreds of thousands of feet tall. It suddenly filled the hole, causing the faces of some of the weaker members of the Yi clan to immediately turn a shen. Humph. An elderly figure suddenly appeared in front of Yi Zhong's group when the aura of the gray-clothed old man erupted. His foot stomped on the ground as an invisible ripple spread out from his foot in a lightning-like manner. At the same time, another vast and mighty aura spread, blocking the terrifying aura of the gray-clothed old man. Although the Cao clan is powerful, it really doesn't have the demeanor of a large clan by bullying others in this manner with its strength. The one who had suddenly appeared was naturally Tian Ho Zunji. His eyes were locked onto the gray-clothed old man as he faintly chastised. Du Zun? The sudden appearance of Tian Ho Zunji had caused the gray-clothed old man to be slightly startled. 
He immediately narrowed his eyes. Senior, this junior is Cow Dan. The matter today is something between my Cow Clan and the E Clan. I hope that senior will not intervene. If you have any matter regarding pill refinement in the future, you might perhaps be able to find my cow clan. Cow Dan also slightly frowned before immediately cupping his hands together and speaking in a deep voice. He did not show any fear like an ordinary person would when facing a Duzun. With the great strength of the cow clan, it did not lack some elite Duzuns who wanted to ask the elders of the clan to refine pills for them. Due to him having seen many of them, he no longer felt afraid. Refining pills? Tian Ho Zunji merely smiled when he heard this. He faintly replied, that is not necessary. The old me naturally has a more suitable person to look for if I wish to refine a pill. Moreover, I have been tasked by him to guard the Yi clan. How can the old me not intervene? Cao Dan's expression slightly changed when he understood that Tian Ho Zunji did not give him any face. He immediately warned in a solemn voice, today's matter is an order by the head of the clan. That person must leave with us. No one can stop us. Otherwise, that person will be an enemy of my cow clan. The expressions of the members of the Yi clan became ugly upon hearing the words spoken by Cao Dan, since they carried a threat. Kiki, the cow clan is really imposing. However, I am definitely protecting this person today. While the large hall had descended into silence, a faint cold laugh suddenly sounded. It caused Yi Zhong, Xin Lan, and the others in the hall to be startled. A joy immediately surged onto their faces. End of chapter. Chapter 1122. Betting. A faint cold laugh sounded within the front yard, causing Cao Dan's expression to become much darker and more solemn. He turned his head, and his eyes landed on a door leading to the front yard. Two figures slowly appeared at that spot. I was wondering why the Yi clan had suddenly become so firm. It has found quite a number of helpers. Cao Dan watched Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor as they slowly walked over. The corner of his mouth moved slightly as he spoke with a cold laugh. Xiao Yan looked at this man in front of him, who appeared quite young. His eyes paused for a moment on the badge on his chest, and some surprise flashed across them. This cow clan was indeed worthy of being an alchemist family. The younger generation that it had groomed was actually this strong. It was the first time in all these years that Xiao Yan had seen such a young tier 7 alchemist. Of course, Xiao Yan did not feel surprised that the other party was able to gain such an achievement. The continent was very vast, and there would definitely be some pill refining geniuses. This, along with the grooming of an alchemist family like the Cao clan from a young age, their achievements would naturally be far from what an ordinary alchemist could compare with. If I remember correctly, you should be called Xiao Yan, right? This person is the woeful poison lady who stirred a great commotion within the pill region? Cao Dan's eyes lingered over Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor, before speaking with a faint smile. Xiao Yan stopped beside Jian Ho Zunji. He smiled and softly said, the style of the Cao clan is indeed quite grand. Mr. Xiao Yan, this person is called Cao Dan. He is known as a pill refinement genius that comes once in a hundred years within the Cao clan. Despite his young age, he has already reached the level of a tier 7 alchemist. He is also quite well known in this pill region. Yi Zhong softly explained who he was to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. His eyes landed on Cao Dan and said, Young Master Cao Dan, the matter between the Yi and Cao clan is just a small grudge. Why don't each of you take a step back? A chill flashed across Cao Dan's eyes as he looked at Xiao Yan's smiling face. He faintly said, Take a step back? How will my cow clan account to the outside world? Back then, my cow clan had made a public announcement after the Yi clan came to talk about this marriage. If we fail to marry now, would the cow clan not lose a great amount of face? Can this still be considered a small grudge? In that case, young master Cao Dan is insisting on bringing her with you today? Xiao Yan slowly took a step forward and softly laughed. Cao Dan narrowed his eyes in the face of Xiao Yan's somewhat bullying demeanor. With his pill refining talent, seldom would any member of the younger generation treat him like this during all these years. Cao Dan not only did not take a step back as he looked at Xiao Yan in front of him, instead, he took a step forward. The gap between Xiao Yan and him was a short foot. His eyes stared at Xiao Yan as he said, Xiao Yan, I have heard about you and know that you are able to fight, but you should get things right. My Cao clan is not the Ice River Valley. As long as my cow clan utters the word, even you would likely feel an extreme headache. I even dared to kill a member of the Hall of Souls. Do you think that your cow clan is even more difficult to deal with than the Hall of Souls? 
Xiao Yan slowly spread his five fingers as he calmly replied. Cao Dan's expression finally changed upon hearing this. With the ability of the Cao clan to summon helpers, it could indeed be comparable to the Ice River Valley. However, by comparing it to the Hall of Souls, their Cao clan would lose that qualification. After all, the Hall of Souls stood shoulder to shoulder with the Pill Tower. Their Cao clan was merely relying on the Pill Tower. How could they be compared to the Hall of Souls? Xiao Yan, I know that you are bold, but sometimes, you should be a little more rational. These people might not be able to bring Xin Lan away, but the next time we come, I believe that just the two elite Du Zuns behind you would be of little use. My Cao clan does possess this ability. With Cao Dan's pride, it was naturally impossible for him to submit to Xiao Yan. Therefore, he immediately and coldly laughed as he responded in a deep voice. Offending the Cao clan for the Yi clan is really not worthwhile. If you are willing, my Cao clan will welcome you as a friend. Xiao Yan smiled and shook his head. He said, forget it, young master Cao Dan. What you have said does not attract me. Please leave today. I will not hand Xin Lan to you. Xiao Yan. You better know the situation. Cao Dan furiously cried out. His expression sank after being rejected by Xiao Yan in such a straightforward manner. Xiao Yan faintly smiled. Both of his hands were crossed in front of him as he studied Cao Dan. He did not show any signs of giving in. Cao Dan's expression became graver after being looked at by Xiao Yan in this manner. The gray robe, old man's wrinkle filled face was scrunched. Immediately, he took a slow step forward. You will remain behind if you take another step forward. Just this one star Du Zun's strength of yours does not have the qualification to behave atrociously here. The gray robe old man had just stepped forward when the white figure in front of him flashed. A clear, cold voice was transmitted into his ears. The gray clothed old man's expression changed slightly upon hearing her words. His eyes stared at the little fairy doctor in front of him, and a fearful expression flashed across them. He could sense that the little fairy doctor was also an elite Du Zun. Moreover, her level was likely even higher than his. The words of the little fairy doctor had just sounded when it appeared to have broken the tense sword's drawn atmosphere. All the people from the cow clan, including the two red-robed old men, suddenly took a few steps forward. Majestic auras rippled over this place like a wave, forming a great pressure. Humph. Tian Ho Zun Ji let out a cold snort after seeing the two red-robed old men step forward. He also took a step forward and appeared on Xiao Yan's left side. A mighty aura surged out and suppressed the auras of nearly a hundred people on the opposite side. Kiki, why? Is young master Cao Dan planning to use force? However, just a one-star Du Zun alone does not appear to be able to suffice. Xiao Yan faintly smiled as he commented. Xiao Yan, you should not be so pleased with yourself. Offending my Cao clan is not something fun. Even if we end up failing this time around, there will definitely be an even stronger lineup coming the next time around. What can you do at that time? A cold glint flashed across Cao Dan's eyes when he spoke. He turned his eyes to Yi Zhong's group as he coldly laughed, at that time, this group would at the very most just leave. However, the Yi clan will likely become the target for the Cao clan to vent its anger. It is likely that the Yi clan would be removed from the Pill region in the future. The expressions of Yi Zhong's group involuntarily changed upon hearing this. However, what other path did the Yi clan have at this moment? If they lost Xiao Yan, the Yi clan would completely decline. Moreover, if they abandoned Xiao Yan and complied with the marriage between the Cao and Yi clan, it was likely that the Yi clan would also be removed very soon. Yi Zhong did not believe that the Cao clan would genuinely help the Yi clan recover its former glory. The reason the Cao clan was acting in this manner was merely to swallow the Yi clan and strengthen the Cao clan. The Yi clan will act on Mr. Xiao Yan's orders. Yi Zhong's eyes flickered for a moment before he made up his mind. After which, he cupped his hands respectfully to Xiao Yan's back and spoke in a deep voice. Cao Dan's expression turned gloomier upon seeing him bow. His voice was dark and cold as he said, All right, you, Yi Zhong, are really becoming bolder and bolder. Yi Zhong was too lazy to bother with Cao Dan's cynicism. No matter what the case was, a grudge between the Yi and Cao clan had indeed been formed. Young Master Cao Dan, please leave. Xiao Yan spoke in a calm voice. Yi Zhong's choice had caused him to be a little surprised. This old fellow had placed all of his chips on Xiao Yan. If anything happened to Xiao Yan midway through, it was likely that the Yi clan would be completely finished. Cao Dan's expression was volatile. 
he would not simply be chased away empty-handed. However, if he wanted to use force, the other party had two elite Du Zuns and need not fear his side. After musing for a long while, Cao Dan's eyes suddenly swept over Xiao Yan's body. He inquired, it is rumored that you are also an alchemist? I do know something about pill refining. Xiao Yan randomly replied. It seemed that this fellow was indeed unwilling to simply give up. In that case, do you dare to make a bet with me? If I lose, the Cao clan can choose not to have this marriage. However, if I win, you will not get involved in this matter. What do you say? A cold smile flashed across Cao Dan's face as he asked. Oh. Xiao Yan lifted his eyebrows. He appeared to be a little interested as he inquired with a smile, may I know how young master Cao Dan is intending to gamble? The cold smile in Cao Dan's heart swiftly widened after seeing Xiao Yan show some interest. If they were to really fight with Du Qi, it was likely that he would not be a match for Xiao Yan. However, if it came to competing with pill refinement skill, he would let Xiao Yan know that he was attempting to be impressive in front of a true master, seeking his own humiliation in the process. Ridicule flashed across Cao Dan's heart. However, the smile on his face appeared brilliant as he replied, since we are both alchemists, we naturally cannot fight like those chuffs. We should follow the rules of alchemists. Let's challenge each other in terms of playing with fire. A cluster of faint black flames suddenly rose from Cao Dan's hand once his words sounded. Immediately, the cluster wiggled in his palm. It transformed into two dark black small snakes that continuously slid around his finger, appearing as obedient as spirits. Mr. Xiao Yan, do not promise him. Cao Dan possesses an unusually great talent when it came to controlling flames. Even in the Cao clan, one can count the number of people who surpass him with one's fingers. Yi Zhong hurriedly piped in upon hearing Cao Dan's words. Surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes when he heard this. It was unexpected that Cao Dan possessed such a talent in terms of flame control. What do you say? If you don't dare accept the challenge, you can just say the word. I am not a person who will make things difficult for others. Cao Dan stared at Xiao Yan as he coldly smiled. The words make things difficult for others really appear a little comical when uttered from your mouth. Xiao Yan grinned and shook his head, ignoring Cao Dan's sinking expression. Don't us your glib tongue. Are you going to compete? If you are not, I might end up returning with nothing. However, the people who will arrive next time will not be so easy to deal with. Cao Dan coldly said. He felt some fury leaping within his heart when he saw the smile on Xiao Yan's face. Since you like it, I will accompany you. Xiao Yan smiled. That smile contained a cunningness no matter how one looked at it. Xiao Yan had never competed with others in terms of playing with fire before. However, the only thing he was aware of was that he specialized in this. End of chapter. Chapter 1123. Playing with fire. Even Cao Dan was involuntarily startled when he saw that Xiao Yan had really ended up agreeing to this bet. A cold smile involuntarily spread over his face. You are indeed bold. After laughing with a voice that appeared to either be filled with ridicule or praise, Cao Dan turned his head and respectfully said to the gray-clothed old man, Honorary Elder Ku, please leave this matter to me. The gray-clothed old man nodded his head without any change in expression upon hearing this. However, he let out a sigh of relief within his heart. The cool eyes of the little fairy doctor had caused him to form goosebumps. It was not as though he had never heard of the reputation of the woeful poison body. However, it was indeed the first time that he had seen a woeful poison body that had reached the strength of the Duzun class. Just step back. After seeing the gray clothed old man step back, Cao Dan turned his body to those behind him and waved his hand. That group of people hurriedly pulled back and immediately created an empty space in the front yard. Mr. Xiao Yan, you. You really intend to compete in terms of playing with fire with him? Yi Zhong hesitated for a moment after seeing what was unfolding. Finally, he could not help but ask in a soft voice. Cao Dan's reputation when it came to playing with fire was really incredible. Even though Xiao Yan was also a tier 7 alchemist, it was a little risky if it was merely a competition in terms of fire manipulation. Xiao Yan tilted his head. It was naturally best that he could use a method that involved the least effort to get rid of this people. Ugh, since Mr. Xiao Yan insists, we'll do as you say. Yi Zhang could only bitterly smile and nod his head after seeing that he was unable to change Xiao Yan's mind. He immediately reminded, the faint black flame in Yi Zhang's hand is an extremely powerful beast flame. 
it is rumored that the Cow Clan spent a great amount of effort in order to obtain it from the body of a rank 8 magical beast. Its strength is extremely great. Although it cannot be compared with a heavenly flame, an ordinary flame would have difficulty contending against it. Xiao Yan did not feel surprised upon hearing this. He had already sensed that the faint black flame was quite strong when it had appeared. Yi Zhong waved his hand after reminding Xiao Yan. Everyone slowly pulled back and left a spacious area for the two of them. The smile on Cao Dan's face became denser when everyone withdrew. He slowly took a step forward and flicked his finger. The faint black-colored flame on his hand immediately surged. It wiggled above his head and formed a faint black large eagle. The flame appeared strange as it burned due to its dark and dense appearance. This flame of mine is called the Dark Demon Flame. It was obtained from the body of the Dark Sky Three-Headed Lion, a rank 8 magical beast. The black-colored fire eagle lingered over Cao Dan's head. It emitted a sharp eagle cry. There was some pride in Cao Dan's eyes when he introduced his flame. This dark demon flame might not be comparable to a heavenly flame, but its might was also spectacular. Back then, the Cao clan had spent a great amount of effort in order to obtain this flame. Xiao Yan's eyes glanced at the large black eagle. He slightly nodded. There was indeed a reason why this fellow was arrogant. An ordinary alchemist was unable to compare with this Cao Dan, who was able to control his flame with such familiarity. Unfortunately for him, manipulating fire was a speciality of Xiao Yan, especially after he had practiced a flame creation skill. Xiao Yan's control over fire had already reached a pinnacle level. If Yao Lao were to see Xiao Yan's current flame control, it was likely that Yao Lao would definitely praise him. This bet was something Cao Dan thought was going to be easy to win. However, he did not infer that this would also be Xiao Yan's speciality. Xiao Yan flicked his finger, and a wisp of a green-colored flame slowly rose from its tip. After which, it left the tip of his finger and soared with the wind. It swiftly transformed into a large fire wolf that howled at the sky. The wolf howl continued to linger in the air of the entire city. This green-colored flame was naturally the green lotus core flame. If it came to playing with fire, Xiao Yan was more familiar with manipulating the green lotus core flame. The temperature slowly rose after the green-colored fire wolf appeared. The eyes of Cao Dan abruptly shrank. His eyes greedily glanced at the fire wolf, it is indeed a heavenly flame. The rumors are true. This brat possesses a heavenly flame. However, one cannot merely rely on the strength of a flame when playing with fire. Possessing a heavenly flame does not mean he can win. Cao Dan licked his lips as he coldly laughed in his heart. His finger suddenly pointed at the fire wolf over Xiao Yan's head. Immediately, the black fire eagle emitted a loud eagle cry as it glided over the sky. After which, it emitted a swoosh sound as it cut through the air and rushed toward the fire wolf with lightning-like speed. Howl. The green-colored wolf merely let out a long howl in the face of the fire eagle's attack. After which, its back shook and a pair of fire wings extended from it. The wings were flapped as it widened its ferocious mouth and violently collided with the fire eagle. Flames shot in all directions as the two ruthlessly pounced on each other, biting at the other party in an uncontrolled manner. The flames over their bodies were eroding the other party without due care for their lives. Everyone below was a little amazed as they looked at the wild snapping of the two fire beasts. They had seen fights between Du Qi, but a fight between flames was rarely seen. The two fire beasts wildly bit at each other in the sky, but they were also unusually agile. They flipped their bodies and leaped all around. An ordinary expert would not be able to catch them. Everyone clearly understood that this was due to their control over their flames. If it was someone with weaker skill, there was no need to even discuss forming a fire beast and fighting with another. It was likely that just maintaining the form of the beast would have exhausted all of their spiritual strength. Wisps of flames continued to drift from the sky as the two fire beasts fought each other. After which, they slowly scattered. Xiao Yan placed both of his hands behind him. His eyes focused on the fight in the sky. All it took was a thought of his to control the fire beast. This kind of fight was a contention between the strength of their spiritual strength. Compared with Xiao Yan's free and easy attitude, Cao Dan's face appeared a little more solemn. During the first exchange between the fire beasts, he had come to an understanding that he had met with a tough opponent this time around. The other party's control of the fire beast and the degree of reality of the fire beast were not inferior. If this continues, the dark sky demon flame will not be able to hold out against the heavenly flame. Cao Dan slightly frowned as he watched the flame of the black eagle become paler during the fight in the sky. 
A moment later, he let out a cold laugh. He rubbed his storage ring, and a fiery red jade bottle appeared in his hand. He opened the cap of the bottle, and a bright blood-like flame exited it. After which, Cao Dan bit his middle finger and a drop of blood fell into it. He, so what if you possess a heavenly flame? Can you defend against two of my flames? An intense ripple immediately formed on the cluster of bright blood-like flames after the fresh blood dripped into it. Under Cao Dan's control, it transformed into a blood-red hound. Its blood-red eyes contained a cold luster. Its four paws stepped on the ground as it charged into the battle in the sky. Together with the black eagle, it wildly bitted the fire wolf, tearing apart the green-colored flame on the wolf's body with each bite. Waves of uproars immediately sounded within the courtyard when everyone witnessed the scene. Those from the Cao clan let out a cheer, while those from the Yi clan faced each other, appearing to be somewhat quiet as they did so. They did not expect Cao Dan to be able to control multiple flames at once. It should be known that each type of flame required a great amount of spiritual strength. If one controlled two types of flames, the rate of exhaustion would be increase. Additionally, one had to multitask. Hence, there were very seldom any alchemists who possessed the ability to control multiple flames. It seemed that Yi Zhong's warning was not without reason, since Cao Dan had an outstanding talent in flame manipulation. Xiao Yan also slightly knit his brows because of this scene. He faintly said, there, but two flames. After uttering these words, the fire wolf being controlled by his mind agilely dodged. Its ferocious mouth mercilessly crunched down on the black eagle and hound. For an instant, the sky was chaotic as flames randomly flew in all directions. Yi Zhong's group sighed in relief when they saw the fire beast, which Xiao Yan had created, swiftly defeating its opponents. It was indeed worthy of being a heavenly flame. If it was some other flame, it was likely that it would have been torn into pieces by the two fire beasts. Cao Dan frowned when he saw the fire wolf, created from a heavenly flame, was this strong. A ruthless expression flashed across his eyes. He waved his hands, and two more jade bottles appeared in front of him. Their caps were opened. A gray and a purple flame soared out of the bottles. Even Yi Zhong's expression on the Yi clan's side had turned a little pale when he saw the two clusters of flames appearing. He did not expect Cao Dan to reach a stage where he could control four types of flames at the same time. This was something that even he had to admit that he was unable to achieve. Humph, playing fire with me. If you weren't relying on the heavenly flame, you would not even be able to last one exchange against me. Cao Dan coldly laughed. Another two drops of blood entered the two clusters of flames. Immediately, the two clusters of flames transformed into fire beasts that charged forward after which, they surrounded the green-colored fire wolf. Under the attacks of the four fire beasts from all directions, even the fire wolf, formed from a heavenly flame, was unable to endure. By controlling four types of flames, their combined attack was indeed very strong. However, it was obvious that this was the limit of Cao Dan. One could tell this from the pale whiteness on his face. Xiao Yan, playing with fire does not merely rely on quality. Quantity is also very important. You should remember this in your heart when you compete with others in the future. The smile on Cao Dan's face became richer as he watched the fire wolf being defeated. His eyes swung to Xiao Yan as he involuntarily laughed in a somewhat pleased tone. Xiao Yan faintly glanced at him. Immediately, he laughed, thank you for your reminder young master Cao Dan. Since this is the case, I shall win with quantity. After uttering such instigating words, Xiao Yan flicked his finger. Ten jade bottles appeared after which, a boom sounded, and they burst apart. After the ten jade bottles broke, ten clusters of flames of various lusters slowly rose in front of numerous stunned eyes. After which, they wiggled for a moment before transforming into ten ferocious fire beasts. These flames were all beasts' flames. They were nourishment that Xiao Yan had obtained for the life-transforming flame. However, now that he possessed a core bead, the beasts' flames had lost their purpose. It was unexpected that he was able to use them now. Xiao Yan's eyes alighted upon Cao Dan's face, which had turned dull almost instantly. The corner of his mouth contained ridicule. You can only control four types of flames, yet you dare to come out and compete with others in terms of flame manipulation? End of chapter. Chapter 1124. Witch of the Cao Clan. Ten clusters of different colored flames transformed into ferocious fire beasts that slowly rose into the sky. Various colored glows landed on the stunned expressions of everyone below as they did so, causing the scene to appear exceptionally comical. The ten types of flames along with the earlier green lotus core flame, formed a total of eleven flames. 
Xiaoyan was able to control eleven flames with his own strength. The courtyard was silent as everyone watched this shocking scene. It was a moment later before some noises from the inhalation of cold air slowly appeared. Each time one controlled an additional flame, it would impose a harsh toll on one's spiritual strength. With Cao Dan's ability, he was at the most able to control four types of flames. Moreover, this had already allowed him to reach the point where he could hardly find any opponent within the Cao clan, yet the current Xiao Yan allowed him to understand what was meant by there was always someone better out there. 11 Types of Flames Even if Cao Dan were to use all of his spiritual strength, it was likely that he would be unable to completely control them, much less transforming them into beast forms to fight with others. Fierce flames rose into the air. The high temperature that spread down caused Cao Dan's mouth to dry. His already somewhat pale face became even paler. Xiao Yan's ability was a very big blow to him. How is it possible? Cao Dan softly muttered in his mouth. His eyes were filled with disbelief. Xiao Yan appeared much younger than him. How was it possible for him to control eleven types of flames? This level was something that even his sister, who was regarded as a witch in his clan, was unable to do. Impossible. Cao Dan's eyes had become much redder after he muttered that word. He appeared just like a gambling addict about to lose all of his fortune. He let out a furious roar as a thought passed through his heart. The four fire beasts in the sky emitted low, deep roars as they charged at Xiao Yan's multicolored fire beasts. Xiao Yan watched Cao Dan, who was going all out, with an indifferent expression. The corner of his mouth was lifted into a cold smile. He randomly waved his sleeves, and the eleven fire beasts in the sky appeared like ferocious tigers descending from a mountain as they collided with Cao Dan's four fire beasts. After which, they began to tear and bite at each other in a crazy manner. Clusters of flames continued to scatter. Cao Dan's four fire beasts descended into an outnumbered situation in the face of Xiao Yan's terrifying numbers. They did not endure for long before the flames on their bodies were gradually torn apart after which, they slowly disappeared one after another in front of the many eyes in the front yard. By the time Cao Dan's last fire beast disappeared, nine out of eleven fire beasts belonging to Xiao Yan still survived. Cao Dan's body shook when the final fire beast disappeared. His feet immediately took two steps back in panic. A groan was emitted from his throat at the same time. Those fire beasts contained some of his remnant spiritual strength. Hence, the disappearance of those fire beasts caused some damage to his spiritual strength. Cao Dan, who was pulling back, was hurriedly supported by the two elders behind him. His eyes stared at the nine fire beasts in the sky, and his face alternated between white and green. He had never expected the bet, he had thought he was going to win, would end up with him being defeated in such a miserable manner by Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan glanced at Cao Dan. He whitened his mouth and the fire wolf transformed into a wisp of green-colored flames. The flame shot down before entering Xiao Yan's mouth. Those eight other fire beasts gradually turned into nothing within a short moment. These flames, that had yet to be refined into a flame seed, could only be used once. After a single usage, they would scatter if the energy within them was not replenished. Young Master Cao Dan, please leave. Xiao Yan withdrew the green lotus core flame. His expression was much better when compared to Cao Dan. He had practiced the flame creation skill and was extremely familiar with flame manipulation. Moreover, the strength of his spiritual strength was far from what the likes of Cao Dan could compare with. Cao Dan's expression became much uglier when he heard his command. He had lost to Xiao Yan in front of so many people. Moreover, he had lost in flame manipulation, his specialization. This was undoubtedly equivalent to giving him a ruthless slap. All right. No wonder Yi Zhang would place his hopes on you. You do indeed possess some skill. I have underestimated you. Cao Dan inhaled a couple of breaths of deep air. He suppressed a fury that arose from embarrassment, rising in his heart as he spoke in a dark voice. Xiao Yan faintly smiled. Cao Dan might say that he was a tier 7 alchemist, but from the way Xiao Yan saw it, Cao Dan would, at the very most, be at the low grade 7th tier. He could not be considered a great opponent. It would not be troublesome if Xiao Yan were to meet him at the pill gathering in the future. I have lost today. Rest assured that I will keep my word. My Cao clan will not come and find trouble for a period of time. Cao Dan's dark and ferocious eyes suddenly turned to Yi Zhong's group after he spoke. He then continued in a dense, cold manner, however, it is merely the ravings of a lunatic, if your Yi clan wishes to regain an elder's seat. My Cao clan will be unwilling to see such a thing occurring. 
there is still less than a month before the test begins. I want to see whether your Yi clan can rely on him to squeeze into the top three spots. Yi Zhang's expression slightly changed. He coldly said, there is no need for you to worry about this matter on behalf of the Yi clan. Cao Dan frostily smiled. His gaze immediately swung to Xiao Yan as he said, Xiao Yan, you are indeed very strong. However, I believe sooner or later, you will end up regretting offending the Cao clan. Have you finished saying all that you need to? If you have, please. Xiao Yan crossed his fingers and faintly commanded without giving Cao Dan an additional look. Cao Dan was filled with fury because of Xiao Yan's indifferent attitude. If two elite Duzuns were not backing Xiao Yan up, it was likely that he would be unable to control himself and get Kuyi Zunji to attack, giving this hateful fellow a vicious lesson. You are an alchemist. I think that you will also participate in the pill gathering. At that time, there will naturally be someone from my Cao clan who will take care of you. Let's go. Cao Dan's eyes glared at Xiao Yan in a dangerous manner. A moment later, he tossed out some ruthless words before suddenly turning around. With a wave of his hand, he left this yard with a great unwillingness while carrying a body filled with fury. All the experts from the Cao clan behind him faced each other before letting out a quiet sigh and hurriedly followed. The members of the Yi clan sighed in relief when they saw the people from the Cao clan leaving in a dispirited manner. Cheers sounded as a result. The respect in their eyes as they looked at Xiao Yan also became more prevalent. Big brother Xiao Yan, thank you. Xin Lan sighed in relief in her heart. Her pretty eyes looked at Xiao Yan as she spoke with some joy. Xiao Yan waved his hand and said, Since I have promised you, I will protect the Yi clan. At the very least, until I have fulfilled my promise. Mr. Xiao Yan, everyone in the Yi clan will never forget the great favors you have done for the Yi clan. Please feel free to ask if there is anything you need my Yi clan to do in the future. Even though there are some things that we are unable to do, my Yi clan will try its best. Yi Zhong cupped his hands together and bowed to Xiao Yan, as he spoke in an unusually serious manner. I am unworthy of such a solemn and respectful ceremony from Elder Yi Zhong. Please do not continue. Xiao Yan slightly leaned his body forward as he replied with a smile. Yi Zhong smiled when he heard his words. His eyes wandered in the direction Cao Dan had disappeared. However, there was some worry in his eyes as he sighed, from the words that Cao Dan uttered earlier. I think that that witch from the Cao clan has likely returned. Witch? Xiao Yan raised his head upon hearing this, feeling a little uncertain as he did so. Yi Zhong bitterly laughed when he saw Xiao Yan's uncertainty. He asked, Mr. Xiao Yan, what do you think of Cao Dan? His character is nothing great, but he does have some skill in terms of flame control. Moreover, he is able to reach the level of a tier 7 alchemist at such a young age. His talent is worthy of being described as a genius. Xiao Yan voiced his thoughts. Although Cao Dan was arrogant, he did possess decent ability. This Cao Dan is unable to show even the slightest bit of arrogance in front of the witch of the Cao clan. Yi Zhong softly explained. His tone contained an exceptional bitterness. If his Yi clan could produce such a person, would he still need to worry about their strength? This kind of witch was a terrifying character where she alone could be relied on to support the entire clan. Oh! Surprise flashed across his eyes. The Cao clan had such a person? This witch is called Cao Ying. Her entire life has been filled with a legendary hue. When she was born, she already displayed a spiritual strength that shocked others. Her mother was nearly killed by the spiritual strength that spread from her. When she was seven years old, she had formally become an alchemist. At 15, she caught the eye of the Pill Tower, and an exception was made to take her in as core disciple of the Pill Tower. She has trained quietly in the Pill Tower for five years. At 20, she became the youngest tier 7 alchemist in the Cao clan. Currently, she is 22. Yi Zhong's soft voice lingered over the yard, causing all the members of the Yi clan to lower their heads in shame upon hearing this. Compared to Cao Ying, they were merely useless people just waiting to die. Of course, they were not the only ones who reacted like this. Even Xiao Yan's face displayed a solemn expression. The Central Plains region was indeed filled with many hidden talents. If the reason he possessed a current achievement was due to a combination of both talent and effort, this Cao Ying was likely really a little witch blessed by the heavens. Reaching tier 7 at 20 years old. During these two years, she would definitely have advanced. I guess the current her. Yi Zhong paused when he spoke until this point. His face was filled with bitterness, the current her should be at least at the peak of the tier 7 level. The entire yard was completely silent. 
a 22-year-old peak tier 7 alchemist. This achievement would likely enter the top 10 even when compared with the thousand years of alchemist history. Cao Ying will definitely participate in this pill gathering. According to tradition, if one wishes to slowly advance to be one of the giant heads of the pill tower, one must be the champion of a pill gathering. Yi Zhong sighed. This Cao Ying is quite ambitious. Therefore, she will definitely not give up this pill gathering. Yi Zhong's eyes turned to the grave face of Xiao Yan and slowly said, this girl will be a great opponent of yours in the pill gathering. End of chapter. Chapter 1125. Pressure. Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he nodded. If this Cao Ying really possessed a relaxed character, it was likely that he would not like this kind of life while being on a high position. Kiki, but Mr. Xiao Yan need not be too afraid. That Cao Ying might be strong, but if you were to compete with each other, no one will know just who will come out on top, as long as she has yet to reach tier 8. Unless she has reached this level, there is no guaranteed victory. Refining medicinal pills occasionally relies on one's condition and luck. Everyone will meet with failure. Yi Zhang hurriedly laughed. He thought that Xiao Yan was worried after seeing him descend into silence. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. Tier 8 and Tier 7 were two completely different concepts. After all these years, it was likely that the only alchemist he had met who could refine a Tier 8 medicinal pill was Yao Lao alone. Xiao Yan had met some Tier 7 alchemists after having arrived in the Central Plains region. However, he had never met a Tier 8 alchemist. It was likely that even some Du Zun class experts would need to be extremely courteous to an alchemist of this tier. They would possess a position that was similar to the height Yao Lao reached in the Central Plains back then. The reason why there were so few Tier 8 alchemists clearly indicated how difficult it was to advance to this level. A Tier 7 alchemist might be able to do extremely well in the Central Plains. However, if one wanted to reach the point where even an elite Du Zun would willingly come to be your fighter, one would, at the very least, need to reach the 8th tier. Xiao Yan withdrew from the thoughts within his heart as he smiled and said, relax, I will definitely do well in this pill gathering. I will do my best regardless of how strong the opponents are. Yi Zhong grinned and nodded upon hearing his reply. He said, Mr. Xiao Yan. The test of the five great clans will begin in less than one month's time. We still need to leave for Holy Pill City in advance. Therefore, we must leave in around 20 days. This pressing schedule caused Xiao Yan to frown. Immediately, he nodded. He was currently pressed for time, and he could no longer waste any. However, it was fortunate that his pill refinement training had gradually progressed well. Although he had yet to successfully refine a tier 7 higher rank medicinal pill, his chances of success when refining some low and middle grade medicinal pills had significantly raised. With this speed, Xiao Yan sooner or later would be able to successfully refine a tier 7 higher rank medicinal pill. All you need to do is inform me before you leave. I will rest for one day before continuing my retreat and practicing hard for a period of time. Even Yi Zhong involuntarily wiped some cold sweat off his face when he heard that Xiao Yan was going to continue his tortuous training. Pill refinement was an extremely tiring and troublesome matter. Based on common sense, it was impossible for even a tier 7 alchemist to refine pills all day long. After all, this was really too exhausting. This was originally the case based on common sense. However, Xiao Yan had not only been born with a powerful spiritual strength, but he also had the help of a heavenly flame. This enabled him conserve his stamina when refining pills. Hence, if other tier 7 alchemists could at the very most refine 3 medicinal pills per day, Xiao Yan would be able to refine 6, 10, or many more times the amount they could. In other words, his one day spent in bitter training was equivalent to training a couple of days by others. Of course, this kind of wild, uncontrolled training was extremely harsh. However, Xiao Yan had suffered many hardships during these years. He might not have anything else, but his character was tough after being honed all these years. The achievement that Xiao Yan possessed today was definitely not something that he had suddenly obtained. Yi Zhang felt some admiration for Xiao Yan after wiping off his cold sweat. He said in a solemn voice, Ugh, Mr. Xiao Yan, please continue to train with peace of mind. You can just inform the old me if you do not have enough medicinal ingredients. Even if I have to exhaust the entire collection of my Yi clan, I will definitely support Mr. Xiao Yan until you have completed your training. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. He once again chatted with Yi Zhong about some matters related to the pill gathering before returning to his own room while the others returned to theirs. 
Xiaoyan once again entered the pill refinement room on the second day after having resolved the trouble that came with the Cao clan. After which, he announced that he would undertake a retreat to engage in harsh training. Soon after, an endless amount of rare medicinal ingredients were carried out of Yi clan's warehouse and they were piled in the pill refinement room. Due to Xiao Yan having stepped forward, the Yi clan was temporarily no longer faced with any disturbances from the Cao clan. Additionally, the little fairy doctor and Tian Ho Zunji would occasionally show themselves. This caused the factions coveting the Yi clan to hold back a little. To elite Du Zuns, this lineup was definitely not something an ordinary faction could contend with. Without the trouble that came from the outside world, the Yi clan became much quieter. Time gradually flowed by amid silence, appearing just like the sand seeping between one's fingers. Perhaps it was due to the approaching pill gathering, but the entire pill region became unusually lively. Almost every part of the pill region was experiencing traffic that was larger than usual. Moreover, some more observant individuals would discover that various alchemists of different ascents from various places were beginning to appear within the pill region one after another. Clearly, these people were here because of the pill gathering. The pill gathering was not only a grand event in the alchemist's world, but it was also a grand event for the central plains. Each time the pill gathering began, the pill region would become the focal point of the entire central plains region, and sometimes even the continent. Countless numbers of people or factions would swarm over like hungry wolves who had smelled the fragrance of flesh. An alchemist was the most respected occupation in the Duki continent. Everyone was envious of an alchemist's abilities. Some alchemists might not be strong when it came to combat strength. However, that alchemist only needed to take out a small medicinal pill in order to get experts to fight on his or her behalf and take the other party's life. Hence, everyone on the continent knew that it was best to avoid offending an alchemist, especially a high-tier alchemist. This was because these people were like a beehive. The moment one touched a high-tier alchemist, one would end up inviting an endless amount of trouble. A high-tier alchemist was also someone some factions wanted the most. In order to get one of them under their wings, many factions would issue attractive offers. There were even some factions who would end up fighting until blood flowed like a river in order to snatch a high-tier alchemist. The distinguished position of alchemists caused the pill gathering to be an exceptionally important occasion. Everyone knew that this kind of gathering would attract talented alchemists from across the continent. Those who could stand out among them definitely possessed a great strength. As long as a faction managed to recruit one of these alchemists, it would undoubtedly mean that their strength would rapidly soar. These were the reasons why so many people were coming to the pill region. Moreover, with the flow of time, this extremely vast pill region would likely fill with even more people who had come after hearing about the pill gathering. While the human traffic within the pill region was beginning to soar, the time of the five great clans test also approached. Everyone from the Yi clan respectfully stood outside of a pill refinement room in the deepest parts of the Yi clan. The ones standing at the front were Yi Zhong, Xin Lan, and the few Yi clan's elders. Today was the last day before they would begin traveling to the Holy Pill City. It was also the day that Xiao Yan would finish his retreat. Xiao Yan did not even take half a step out of the pill refinement room during these 20-something days. The hot environment within the pill refinement room caused even some of the members of the Yi clan, who had delivered medicinal ingredients, to be afraid of staying for long. Usually, they would gently place the medicinal ingredients down before hurriedly withdrawing in silence. Dark clouds would frequently gather in the sky near the backyard of the Yi clan during these 20-odd days. There was even some lightning gathering within the dark clouds a couple of times. However, the clouds would suddenly scatter just when a bolt of lightning was about to descend. This kind of change in the sky naturally attracted the attention of Yi Zhong and the rest. All of their hearts were a little shaken. They could clearly sense the surging energy ripple emitted from the sealed pill refining room when the pill lightning was about to descend. This kind of energy ripple was extremely similar to the situation that appeared when some tier 7 high-grade medicinal pill were about to take shape. Although they did not know why the surging energy ripple would suddenly disappear every time it reached a critical moment, all of them understood that this was something done on purpose by Xiao Yan. Regardless of Xiao Yan's intentions, they were able to vaguely understand something. This period of bitter training seemed to have improved Xiao Yan's pill refinement skill. Creak, creak. While various thoughts quietly lingered in the hearts of Yi Zhong's group, the tightly shut stone door was slowly opened. A great amount of heat immediately spread out from within. A skinny figure slowly walked out as the temperature rose. A moment later, he appeared in front of everyone's line of sight. 
The skinny figure's clothes were a little messy. His black hair was scattered around his head and his face possessed a sparse beard. He looked quite miserable. Nevertheless, his dark black eyes were unusually bright. For some unknown reason, Yi Zhang's group vaguely felt that Xiao Yan was a little different from before, especially as they watched him walk out of the pill refinement room. End of chapter. Chapter 1126. Spiritual States. This kind of change was not obvious, but it gave Yi Zhang's group a kind of strange feeling. It appeared as though Xiao Yan, who was in front of them, had become more dazzling than before he had undertaken the retreat. The little fairy doctor and Yan Ho Zun Ji were also a little startled because of this change. The little fairy doctor was still fine, but Yan Ho Zun Ji seemed to have fallen deep into thought. Xiao Yan was a little surprised upon seeing so many people outside the door after he walked out of the training room. He helplessly shook his head and questioned, Elder Yi Zhong, there is no need for such grandness, is there? Ki Ki. Yi Zhong hurriedly recovered upon hearing his words. He laughed before waving his hand and scattering the clan members who had gathered here. With a smile, he said, Mr. Xiao Yan. We will begin our journey to the Holy Pill City tomorrow. Are you prepared? Xiao Yan nodded. It was unexpected that time had passed so quickly during his retreat. Nearly a month had passed within the blink of an eye. Mr. Xiao Yan, nothing is wrong with you, is there? Yi Zhong glanced at Xiao Yan. He seemed to vaguely sense a kind of faint pressure when he was close to Xiao Yan. This kind of pressure seemed to originate from deep within his soul, causing him to find it difficult to ignore. Xiao Yan revealed an uncertain expression in the face of Yi Zhong's question. He frowned and asked, what can happen to me? From the way Xiao Yan acted, it seemed he was unaware of the slight change. Yi Zhong was somewhat stunned when he saw Xiao Yan's lost manner. Could it be that he was mistaken? It is not that you are mistaken. This fellow's spiritual strength seems to have risen during this retreat. Tian Ho Zunji finally shifted his eyes away from Xiao Yan. He smiled as he spoke. Spiritual strength? Xiao Yan was stunned when he heard this. He immediately fondled his chin and mused, now that you mention it, I seem to have suddenly found it much easier to refine pills when compared to before. Moreover, my control over the flame has become even more exquisite as well. However, can't spiritual strength only be grow when one's level increases? My strength is currently still at the level of a four-star Duzong. It is only a little more stable compared to when I had just advanced to it. Tian Ho Zunji glanced at Xiao Yan with a strange expression. A moment later, he finally raised his eyebrows and said, looks like that teacher of yours did not inform you about matters relating to spiritual strength. But this is only natural. An ordinary person can only bend according to this exceedingly mysterious thing known as the the soul. They cannot control it. Even the you previous only knew how to control your spiritual strength, but you do not have a deep understanding of it. Xiao Yan and Yi Zhong feel pondered Tian Ho Zunji's words. Xiao Yan came to a sudden but complete understanding, while Yi Zhong continued frowning. This argument was something that he had seen in some of the ancient books in the clan. Spiritual strength does not have a difference in grade, but it possesses a difference in state. Tian Ho Zunji faintly smiled and explained, of course, very few people these days have heard this statement, because this kind of spiritual state is something that most experts cannot touch over their entire lives. Do you know why so many alchemists have remained at the seventh tier all their lives? It is because of this spiritual state. Spiritual state. Xiao Yan frowned. He had really never heard of this thing. However, the soul is the source of life. Nothing will exist without the soul. If one soul was not destroyed, one would still possess a threat of life. Anyone would maintain a healthy respect for this kind of mysterious thing. However, Xiao Yan only knew that his spiritual strength was quite strong. He understood little else. Moreover, Xiao Yan had only reached the level of a tier 5 alchemist back when Yao Lao was captured. At that time, he was unqualified to learn about whatever spiritual state. He had lacked the teaching of Yao Lao during these few years, causing him to be completely unaware of some of the information related to peak-level alchemists. This so-called spiritual state was one of those things. What I have said is likely something that only alchemist grandmasters who have reached the 8th tier know. Otherwise, one could only find information in some ancient books. Tian Ho Zunji slowly explained. If he had not been from this era, it was likely that he would have been unable to provide Xiao Yan with an explanation. The spiritual states are divided into four levels. The mortal state, soul state, heavenly state, and the god state. 
most people, even alchemists who are below the eighth tier, remain at the mortal state. There is only slight variations in might between most people's spiritual strengths. In the past, you were at this level but just much stronger than an ordinary person. With luck, some tier 7 alchemists may be able to vaguely touch the soul state. If a person's spiritual strength has reached this level, it will gain a certain effect. That effect is to endow a soul, providing a medicinal pill with spirituality. You should be aware that most tier 8 medicinal pills possess a spirituality. It is due to this spirituality that enables them to reach the 8th tier. Regardless of how outstanding the pill refinement technique of an ordinary alchemist is, the medicinal pill that they create will never reach the 8th tier if they are unable to provide the pill with a spirit. Heavenly state, you should be aware that when it comes to a tier 9 medicinal pill, its intelligence will not be any different from an ordinary person. This is equivalent to a kind of creation, the creation of life. One must not only provide it with spirituality, but one must also have the might of nature. In order to achieve this, one would need to reach the almighty heavenly state. It is likely that very few people on this continent can achieve this level. As for the D-state, this only exists in legends. Even I have only heard of it. However, I think you should be aware of the top tier of the spiritual states. D, God, tier. All that I can tell you is that this state is related to the D-tier medicinal pill. The D-tier medicinal pill is related to the legendary Du D. However, it is not known just how many people have failed to reach this state. Tian Ho Zun Ji's voice was regretful when he finished speaking. However, Xiao Yan's group was no longer able to sense the regret in his voice. The few of them had been shaken into a giddy state by the words Tian Ho Zun Ji had uttered. Other than Yi Zhong, who had some vague memory of spiritual states, everyone else, even the little fairy doctor, felt a little lost. She had just advanced to the Du Zun class. In terms of experience, she was unable to compete with an old demon like Tian Ho Zun Ji. This, it seems that I have also read these theories in some ancient books. However, they did not describe it in such detail like old Mr. Yao. When I saw them back then, I thought that they were merely a fallacy and did not pay much attention to them. Yi Zhong finally recovered after a while. He spoke in a somewhat vexed manner. My Yi clan ancestor was also a tier 8 alchemist back then. However, he did not leave behind any information regarding spiritual states. The soul is an extremely mysterious existence. Some alchemists would be at a complete loss even if they broke through because of a lucky opportunity. Tian Ho Zunji glanced at Xiao Yan and said, the previous you did not have the qualification to come into contact with this information. I originally thought that your teacher would have told you about it. However, seeing your appearance, it seems that I inferred poorly. Xiao Yan bitterly laughed and explained, I was merely a tier 5 alchemist when teacher fell into the hands of the Hall of Souls. How could I come into contact with such information? Your current spiritual state seems to have touched the soul state. When you can enter the soul state will depend on how blessed you are. It is rumored that there was a special training method for training one's spirit during the ancient times. It is called soul technique. However, it has clearly been lost because even I have never seen anything about the so-called soul technique. Tian Ho Zunji laughed. The spirit can be trained? Xiao Yan immediately cried out in surprise upon hearing this. His face was filled with disbelief. On the current Du Qi continent, one's soul could only be strengthened along with the increase of one's might. Alternatively, one could consume some natural treasures, but being able to train it through a training method was something that Xiao Yan had never heard of. I have already said that it was during the ancient times. Tian Ho Zunji rolled his eyes as he replied. Xiao Yan bitterly smiled and shook his head upon seeing him roll his eyes. Training one's spirit. This was really a little too unbelievable. Xiao Yan was not too interested in whatever soul state. His crazy pill refinement during his retreat had caused his head to remain in a semi-conscious state, which resulted in some tier 7 high-grade medicinal pills failing despite having a chance to succeed. However, he felt that something was not quite right now that he thought of it. He had clearly sensed that he had become a little more familiar with refining tier 7 high-grade medicinal pill. Looks like I will need to find an opportunity to study it properly in the future. If I wish to advance into the 8th tier, I will need to comprehend these so-called spiritual states. Xiao Yan mused in his heart. Tian Ho Zunji's words had undoubtedly opened a new world for him to explore. Only now did he understand that the soul was related to the advancement beyond that of a tier 7 alchemist. No wonder there are so many tier 7 alchemists, while tier 8 alchemists are so rare. 
it is likely that some tier 7 alchemists are not aware of the so-called spiritual states. However, it would be best if I am able to obtain a kind of soul technique that enables me to train my soul. With this thing, I should be able to advance to the soul state in a much smoother manner. Unfortunately. It has already been lost. Xiao Yan's heart was filled with regret when he thought about this. The loss of these soul techniques might be the main reason why the current generation of alchemists had difficulty advancing to the eighth tier. I wonder if the pill tower possesses a soul technique? By being able to become the holy ground in the hearts of a countless number of alchemists, it is likely not an ordinary place. Hopefully, I will be able to obtain some news regarding a soul technique on my trip to the holy pill city. Who knows when this kind of thing will appear? Xiao Yan sighed. He had made up his mind. During this trip of his to the holy pill city, finding a soul technique would be an important task. End of chapter. Chapter 1127. Hurrying to holy pill city. All the members of the Yi clan were standing at the entrance of the manor the next day. Their eyes were searing hot as they watched Xiao Yan's group in front of them. Whether the Yi clan would be able to gain a Pill Tower's elder's seat would depend on Xiao Yan's placement in the Five Great Clans test. The Yi clan would only be considered to have been elevated if Xiao Yan successfully enters the top three. With the protection of the Pill Tower, they would be able to develop in peace. Although they would definitely be unable to surpass a clan like the Cao clan within a short period of time, they would, at the very least, possess the ability to protect themselves. The Yi clan might end up producing a genius of the younger generation like that which Cao Ying from the Cao clan. Then the Yi clan would be able to gradually rise and regain its former glory. Second elder, third elder, I will follow Mr. Xiao Yan and the rest and head to the Holy Pill City. Therefore, I will leave this Yi clan to you. Yi Zhong spoke in a deep voice to the two elders in front of the members of the Yi clan. Yes, first elder remain at ease and get ready for the Holy Pill City. Although our Yi clan has declined, we still have some relationships with the Pill Tower. An elder from the Yi clan spoke. The few elders from the Yi clan beside him nodded in agreement. Yi Zhong sighed and nodded. With the continuous decline of the current Yi clan, some of their past relationships had been lost. However, it was fortunate that not everyone was as ruthless as the Cao clan. Moreover, it was due to these relationships that the Yi clan was still able to barely hold on to its name and have a chance to survive, despite having failed the previous two tests. Xiao Yan glanced at the sky and softly said, it is already almost time. Elder Yi Zhong, let's leave. After a night of rest, the dazzling feeling that Xiao Yan had displayed yesterday had gradually been withdrawn. However, he vaguely understood that his current spiritual strength was a little different from what it had been in the past. If one had to give an explanation, it would be that his current spiritual strength had an additional soul aura about it. The four great states of a soul seemed to be of some use to an alchemist. Moreover, the training of Du Qi did not appear to be much help based on Xiao Yan's senses. The training of one's soul and the training of one's Du Qi were two completely different methods. Perhaps there were two types of training methods in the ancient times. However, across the Du Qi continent now, the training of one's Du Qi was considered to be the orthodox path. The soul was something that not only Xiao Yan but even some elite Du Zuns did not understand how to strengthen through training. Yi Zhong smiled and nodded upon hearing Xiao Yan's voice. After which, he ceased remaining any longer. He turned around and swiftly walked to a plaza located in the northern part of the city. There was a wormhole located in Yi City. It was not very large, and it was unable to reach Holy Pill City. Instead, they needed to make quite a few transfers along the way in order to reach their final destination. Other than Xiao Yan, the little fairy doctor, and Tian Ho Zunji, only Xin Lan and Yi Zhong from the Yi clan were part of their group. After all, it was pointless for more people to go when it came to such a matter. It was better for them to remain in Yi City to protect the clan. The few of them followed Yi Zhong as they traversed the city. Around 10 minutes later, they appeared in an open ground in the north. Although the Yi clan had declined, an elderly tiger did not lose its might despite being skinny. Hence, this wormhole that others coveted still belonged to the Yi clan. Clearly, Yi Zhong had already given instructions regarding their traveling through the wormhole. Hence, open ground was empty when they entered. Xiao Yan's group climbed up the stone stairs, and a slowly rotating wormhole appeared in front of everyone's eyes. This wormhole of Yi City appeared to possess a grand feeling. However, from the looks of the little chaotic spatial ripple slowly being emitted from the wormhole, it seemed that this wormhole had not been maintained for many years. 
Ugh, back when my Yi clan was still at its glorious peak, there were two elite Du Zuns who were willing to maintain the wormhole. However, with the decline of my Yi clan, we no longer have the ability to get help from an expert of this level. It is really embarrassing. Yi Zhang bitterly laughed. He lamented as he looked at this wormhole. Xiao Yan smiled and shook his head. He said, it's fine. Once we return from this trip, I will get the little fairy doctor and old Mr. Yao to help you maintain it. In that case, I will thank the three of you. Let's get moving. Yi Zhang nodded with some gratitude. After which, he took out a somewhat complicated looking, small, black boat from his storage ring. His hand rubbed it before he gently stepped forward. After which, he walked into the slowly rotating black wormhole. Xiao Yan and the others followed close behind. Xiao Yan's group appeared within the quiet spatial tunnel. Yi Zhang tossed small black colored boat, and it soared with the wind, transforming into an enormous boat. This space boat was the most luxurious boat Xiao Yan had ever seen since he had entered the central plains. From the looks of it, this Yi Zhang had really spent a lot to obtain it. The few human figures leaped onto the enormous boat. After which, Yi Zhang rubbed over the front of the boat in a familiar manner. A circular energy light barrier spread over, wrapping the boat within it. Immediately, the boat shook and suddenly increased its speed. With a swoosh sound, it flew through the seemingly endless wormhole. Yi City does not possess a wormhole that leads directly to the Holy Pill City. Hence, we can only head to a city called Kingling City. The wormhole from that city can reach the Holy Pill City. Yi Zhang turned and spoke with a smile to Xiao Yan's group on the boat. It requires three days to reach Kingling City from this place, and it will take around four days from Kingling City to the Holy Pill City. Therefore, we will reach the Holy Pill City in about seven or eight days. All of you should rest in the boat during this period. There are individual rooms within the boat. Leave the matter of controlling the space boat to Xin Lan and I. Xiao Yan's group did not say anything in regards to Yi Zhang's suggestion. After chatting for a while, they entered the cabin and found their own rooms. Journeying through the wormhole was bitter and quiet. However, it did not trouble Xiao Yan's group, who were used to lonely training. Xiao Yan had remained in his own room during the few days' journey, studying his spiritual strength. After listening to what Yan Ho Zunji had said yesterday, Xiao Yan had become more curious about the soul. However, this examination did not produce any results. Xiao Yan had difficulty sensing the mysterious condition he had entered while refining pills a couple of days ago. However, one good thing was that Xiao Yan could sense an improvement in the medicinal pills he refined now compared to before. He knew that this improvement should be related to his soul. Although his entry into that state back then did not allow Xiao Yan's soul to completely advance to the soul state, it had, at the very least, enabled his spirit to gain an additional soul aura when compared with an ordinary mortal state. Hence, the quality of some of the medicinal pills he had refined was even better than before. Xiao Yan sank into his soul during the few days of travel through the wormhole. The days swiftly passed by. Only when they were about to exit the wormhole did Xiao Yan return from this condition. The group safely arrived at Kingling City. After a brief rest, they continued their non-stop travel to the wormhole of Kingling City and rushed to the Holy Pill City from there. Xiao Yan finally witnessed the terrifying allure of the pill gathering while traveling through Kingling City. Various alchemists had been all over the streets, dazzling his eyes. It was the first time he had seen alchemists in such numbers. Even the alchemist grand meeting held in the GMA Empire was far from able to compete with the alchemists in this Kingling City, regardless of quality or quantity. Moreover, this was merely just a city within the pill region. It was really difficult to guess just how terrifying the human traffic would be when all the alchemists gathered in the Holy Pill City. Xiao Yan's heart suddenly became fiery hot when he thought of the grand scene of tens of thousands of flames rising, tens of thousands of cauldron falling, and tens of thousands pills being born. Even his blood had begun to boil at this moment. If one did not witness such a scene even once in one's life, it would indeed be a regretful thing. The pill gathering was the grandest gathering in the alchemist world. The ultimate aim of a countless number of alchemists was to stand out in the pill gathering. In order to achieve this, they had put in years of effort and perspiration. Participating in the pill gathering was equivalent to obtaining the qualification to compete with the elites on the continent. This was a type of acknowledgement of one's strength. Who would be the greatest as the flames in tens of thousands of cauldrons simultaneously rose? Xiao Yan's group's blood was boiling from excitement as they accompanied the slow and long line of humans entering the dark black wormhole. The interior of the wormhole was as dull as ever. 
However, it was no longer quiet. Countless numbers of space boats were rushing through this spacious spatial tunnel. Noise filled the spatial tunnel as they moved. The legendary Holy Pill City became closer amid this noise. After four days of continuous traveling, a circular, silver glow vaguely appeared in the distance of the wormhole. This glow emitted a shocking spatial ripple. The noise emitted from the many space boats suddenly and strangely became completely silent as everyone approached the silver-colored circle made of light. Numerous human figures in alchemist robes walked out of rooms within the space boats. Their eyes contained a wild heat as they stared at the silver-colored light circle. Holy Pill City, the holy ground in every alchemist's heart. Xiao Yan placed his hands behind him. His eyes were focused on the silver light circle in the distance. The blood flowing within his body quietly began to boil again at this moment. Holy Pill City, Pill Tower. I, Xiao Yan, have arrived. End of chapter. Chapter 1128. Dan Clan. One after another space boats flashed past like the falling stars in the night sky. After which, they swarmed toward the enormous silver light circle like fish entering the ocean. The black-colored space boat Xiao Yan's group was riding followed the flow. It resisted the incomparably intense spatial ripple and entered the light circle. Finally, it disappeared. When the boat charged into the silver-colored light circle, the intense spatial ripple caused the entire space boat to violently jolt. However, this jolt lasted less than 10 seconds before it disappeared. The silver light that filled the eyes of Xiao Yan's group gradually weakened. A moment later, the silver-colored light glow erupted. A powerful, eye-piercing glow caused Xiao Yan's group to reflexively shut their eyes. A gentle wind blew over, while Xiao Yan's group shut their eyes. This gentle and warm feeling caused their tensed hearts to gradually relax. After which, an extremely ear-piercing mixture of noises suddenly entered their ears from all directions, just as their mood was gradually becoming relaxed. This caused Xiao Yan's group, which did not have the time to take precaution, to feel a little dazed for a moment. Xiao Yan slowly opened his eyes. A large open space that was completely built from crimson stone stood in front of his eyes. This open ground seemed to stretch to the horizon. All Xiao Yan could see was a redness that filled the land. From the looks of it, this place was at least a thousand meters wide. Xiao Yan's group was just like tiny ants when standing within it, appearing inconspicuous. At this moment, this crimson open ground seemed to be filled with people. Noise was being emitted from all directions. Finally, it gathered together and charged to the sky. Even the clouds in the sky had become a lot paler. Is this the holy pill city? Xiao Yan involuntarily inhaled a gentle breath of air as he looked at this open ground, which was so vast that one could not see its edge. Currently, some distorted ripples were continuously appearing in the space behind him. Space boats rushed out of these ripples one after another. After which, the space boats swiftly became tiny. The people within them fell from the sky like beans, one after another. Clearly, this was an exit point of a wormhole. This is merely one of the spatial points of the Holy Pill City's outer region. There are a total of eight such spatial exits in the outer city. Yi Zhong glanced around him. His eyes appeared a little complicated. The Yi clan had seldom come to this place after it had declined. During each of the five great clans test, they had also visited with a crestfallen mood after which, they would leave in a dejected manner after having lost all their face. Xiao Yan's mouth trembled upon hearing this. Just this open ground was around 10% of the size of Yi City. However, this Holy Pill City possessed eight of them. Kiki, there is no need to be surprised. The Holy Pill City is divided into the outer region and the inner region. Currently, we are located in the outer region. The Pill Tower is located in the inner region. Of course, regardless of whether it is the outer region or the inner region, they are all territories of the Pill Tower. Yi Zhong involuntarily smiled upon seeing Xiao Yan. This holy Pill City might be called a city, but it is far from what an ordinary city can compare with. Its size is such that even some expert Du Zongs would need nearly half a day to fly from the north to the south. Currently, traffic has yet to reach its peak. It will really be terrifying one month before the start of the Pill Gathering. He he, don't think that this holy pill city is so big. At that time, there will definitely be a need to squeeze in. Yi Zhong laughed, you should not underestimate the allure of the pill gathering. Xiao Yan bitterly smiled and shook his head. He only now understood what a country bumpkin he was after having reached this holy pill city. He had finally witnessed a large city today. Where do we head to first? Xiao Yan organized his emotions. His gaze, along with that of the little fairy doctor and the others, arrived on Yi Zhong. 
it was the first time that they had come to Holy Pill City, and they were unfamiliar with this place. They still needed to rely on Yi Zhong, who knew the way. The test for the five great clans will occur a few days from now. We have traveled for the entire day, let's find a place to rest first. I will bring you to the test location for the Pill Tower tomorrow. You need to obtain an alchemist tier badge that the Pill Tower recognizes. Yi Zhong mused for a moment before replying. An alchemist tier badge? Xiao Yan was startled after hearing this. He asked, there is still a need for this thing? Xiao Yan had only obtained an alchemist badge once. It was the tier 2 alchemist badge he had obtained when he was training in the GMI Empire. After that, he had never obtained any other badges. Kiki, a badge that is recognized by the Pill Tower, cannot be compared with other places. This Pill Tower is infamous for being exceptionally strict. It is precisely because of its rigorous policies that its tier badge is widely used across the continent. It possesses a shocking effect no matter where one is. If you wish to participate in the pill gathering, one must be in possession of a tier badge. Otherwise, one will not be allowed to participate. Yi Zhong smiled as he replied. Xiao Yan slightly nodded and did not resist too much. However, he had not participated in this kind of tier test for many years. Thus, he was indeed a little curious. Yi Zhong smiled after seeing Xiao Yan did not voice any objections. He identified their position and took the lead in heading to a resting area. However, a spatial ripple suddenly appeared in the distant sky behind. Immediately, a snow-white carriage driven by a silver-colored pegasus appeared in the sky. The snow-white carriage that had suddenly appeared immediately attracted the focus of a countless number of eyes. Numerous shocked voices resounded over the open ground. It is the void heavenly horse beast? Just who is this? They have appeared in such a grand manner? Void heavenly horse beast? Xiao Yan also raised his eyebrows upon hearing the exclamations that were transmitted from below. His eyes revealed a shock as he looked at the snow white carriage. He had heard of such a magical beast. Although it was only rank 6, it was an extremely rare beast. They possessed the ability to fly through the void. Moreover, their speed was even faster as well as more comfortable when compared to a space boat. Many people wanted to own a void heavenly horse beast. Due to their rarity, however, there was demand with no supply, yet this mysterious snow-white carriage was able to use a void heavenly horse beast to drive a carriage. This grand manner was really impressive. The gaze of Yi Zhong by the side paused on the snow-white carriage. A moment later, he let out a frown. Does Elder Yi Zhong know who the owner of this carriage is? Xiao Yan involuntarily asked when he saw him frown. Do you see the pill-shaped clan crest on the carriage? That is the special indicator of the Dan clan. If I have guessed correctly, the ones seated in this carriage should be the people from the Dan clan, who are going to participate in the test this time around. Yi Zhong nodded as he replied. Xiao Yan glanced over after hearing this. He noticed a golden yellow round clan badge. It appeared just like a medicinal pill. Dan clan. Xiao Yan mumbled in his mouth. He slowly nodded. The five great clans of the pill region were Dan, Cao, Bai, Q, and Yi. Currently, the Dan clan kept the lowest profile, but their strength was something no one doubted. The Cao clan was the most renowned. The Bai clan could be considered a wealthy family within the Pil region, and they possessed some say. The Kwai clan was a little weaker, but it was many times better when compared to the Yi clan. On the whole, the Yi clan was in the worst condition among the five great clans. The remaining four great clans, including the weakest Kwai clan, were able to steadily maintain their clan's position in the Pil region. Since the members of the Dan clan have arrived, it is likely that the other three clans should arrive soon. Yi Zhong voiced his thoughts. I wonder just who the Dan clan will send to represent them this year? Can the Dan clan be comparable to Cao Ying from the Cao clan? Xiao Yan fondled his chin and asked. This? I am not very certain. The Dan clan has always kept a low profile, but this clan could also be considered to possess a great amount of alchemical talent. During its glorious period back then, they had occupied three seats among the elders' seats of the Pill Tower. Yi Zhong replied with some embarrassment when he heard Xiao Yan's question. However, normally speaking, the ones who participate in the test are usually not the strongest among the younger generation, because it is not too difficult for them to pass this kind of test. This will also be our opportunity. After all, the chances of obtaining the top three position will improve if this is the case. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. He was aware of how important this test was to the Yi clan. If he did not help them, they could forget about attempting to fight for the top three. 
With just the abilities of their younger generation, it was likely that they would not even possess the qualification to even pass. The snow-white carriage drove the void heavenly horse beast and disappeared into the distant sky amid clear hoof sounds, while Xiaoyan's group was conversing with one another. Let's go, we'll find a spot to rest first. Tomorrow, we will go to the testing association of the Pill Tower and get a tier badge. We will consider the other matters after that. Yi Zhong laughed. He was still secure knowing Xiao Yan's strength. However, the only thing he was worried about was that the younger generation dispatched by the four great clans would be even stronger than usual. After all, the pill gathering was approaching, the members of the younger generation who would come were definitely not ordinary. Yi Zhong turned his body after uttering his words. He flew to the exit of the crimson open ground. Xiao Yan, the little fairy doctor, and the others followed close behind. End of chapter. Chapter 1129. Night meeting in the star's realm Xiao Yan's group followed Yi Zhong for around half an hour before they finally descended. They had come to a region to the south. There was a somewhat spacious courtyard located where Xiao Yan's group descended. However, this courtyard was clearly a little old and damaged. From the looks of it, there had not been anyone living here for many years. A wooden plaque was located at the front of the courtyard. There were two vague characters still identifiable on it. Yi Manor. This is a property of my Yi clan. However, with the decline of the Yi clan, there is no longer anyone cleaning this place. Still, it is not a bad location to temporarily rest. Yi Zhong turned his head and spoke to Xiao Yan's group after looking over the courtyard. Xiao Yan's group naturally did not have any requirements about where they stay. Moreover, this Yi manor might appear a little old and damaged, but it was superior in terms of being quiet. Although there was still quite a great amount of traffic around, it was quite remote when compared to other places. Kiki, it is fine if there is no problem. It is already getting late. Everyone should rest first. There are still important matters to do tomorrow. Along with the flow of time, night slowly began to scatter down from the sky, wrapping the entire holy pill city within a blurry night. Xiao Yan stood with his hands behind his back in a small yard within the Yi Manor. He raised his head and looked to the bright stars. It was a long while later before he slightly frowned. I have not sensed even a little ripple related to the 3000 burning flame ever since I entered the Holy Pill City. It is likely being sealed or hidden by the experts from the Pill Tower. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before turning his gaze to the obscure starry sky of the inner region in Holy Pill City. The 3000 burning flame was formed within the stars. It would remain in the distant sky when it was created. If Xiao Yan had guessed correctly, the 3000 burning flame should be in the starry sky of the Holy Pill City inner region. Ugh, the skills of the Pill Tower are really secretive. Looks like I can only take the proper route. Xiao Yan softly sighed in his heart. He was just about to turn around and return to his room when his ears moved. He turned his head and looked at the door to the yard. The little fairy doctor was quietly standing there in a white-colored dress. The moonlight from the sky diffused down and landed on her body. She appeared just like silver yarn with an additional alluring enchantment. Have you not gone to rest? Xiao Yan was startled when he saw the little fairy doctor. He then smiled and asked. Shunar instructed me to protect you properly before she left. How can I stop working before you rest? The little fairy doctor replied with a sweet grin. Xiao Yan could not resist laughing upon hearing the little fairy doctor's saucy words. She had undoubtedly become a lot more cheerful after having resolved the issue of the woeful poison body. There should not be any problem with your woeful poison body, is there? Xiao Yan studied the little fairy doctor, who was slowly stepping through the moonlight, before he asked in a concerned manner. It should be fine. Currently there is a thumb-sized poison dan within my body. All of the woeful poison key within my body is suppressed within it. The current me is able to completely control it. The little fairy doctor thought for a moment before replying. That's good. I can only help you until this point. You can only rely on yourself and what you wish to do in the future. However, the woeful poison body is not an ordinary constitution. Moreover, there has never been anyone who could completely control the woeful poison body in the past. Hence, I do not know how refining a poison dan will impact you in the future. Xiao Yan nodded as he responded. The little fairy doctor slightly smiled. She turned her eyes and suddenly asked, Have you told Shunar about the matter regarding Kai Lin? Xiao Yan was stunned upon hearing this. He immediately felt a little embarrassed as he shook his head with a bitter smile. The matter regarding Kai Lin was merely an encounter that was filled with lust. 
After that incident, Xiao Yan had gradually gained a greater understanding of this woman through their encounter. He had to admit that he had begun to feel a complicated feeling for this cold but alluring Queen Medusa. This was especially the case regarding Kai Lin suspected of being pregnant. It had been a number of years since Xiao Yan had left the GMI Empire. If Kai Lin was really pregnant, based on the rules of the snake people race's pregnancy, currently, it was likely that the little Xiao Yan had already been born. Xiao Yan's heart once again felt an extremely complicated feeling upon thinking about this. He appeared happy but distressed. Various emotions gathered together, appearing as though the bottles of five tastes had broken. One would be unable to differentiate the sourness, sweetness, bitterness, spiciness. Ugh, when the boat gets to the bridge, there will be a way. When I see Shunara next, I'll tell her those things. Xiao Yan shook his head. He calmed his own emotions and sighed, there are some things that I will naturally not be able to continue hiding. It is not rare for a man to have multiple wives and concubines on the Duki continent. I think that Shunar will not mind. The little fairy doctor comforted upon seeing Xiao Yan's worry. Xiao Yan could only bitterly smile and not in the face of the little fairy doctor's comfort. Shunar was not an ordinary girl. She definitely possessed a position within the Gu clan that other people had difficulty imagining. Otherwise, two elite Du Zuns would not be protecting her all the time. Even if Shunar were to agree when the time came, it was likely that the Gu clan would use this as an excuse to hinder them. The little fairy doctor changed the conversation topic after seeing that Xiao Yan had no intention of speaking more about this matter. The two of them sat down on the stone stairs in front of a room, raised their heads, and studied the endless starry sky. It has been many years since we have watched the night sky together. However, the night sky in that little valley near Kingshan town is still more beautiful. After softly chatting for a long while, the little fairy doctor leaned her lovely body gently against a stone pier by the side. Her eyes were slowly shut as she softly muttered. She had actually fallen asleep. Xiao Yan was slightly startled. He turned his head to look at the pretty face that was filled with warmth. Back then, they had been striving to their own targets. Currently, they had reached a height that they would never have dared imagine back then. I will accompany you to watch the night sky there once we return to the GMA Empire. The little fairy doctor's pretty face slowly became more gentle, like she had heard Xiao Yan's soft voice. Xiao Yan took out a large black robe from his storage ring. He gently used it to cover the little fairy doctor's delicate body. He also slowly got up and took two steps forward. Raising his head, he looked to the bright starry sky. While he focused intently on the sky, he suddenly discovered something. When compared to the other night sky, this night sky of the Holy Pill City seemed to be filled with spirituality. Xiao Yan knit his brows. He placed both of his hands behind him as he quietly stood under the vast and endless starry sky. Xiao Yan had stood for nearly two hours. During these two hours, his body remained unmoving, appearing like a statue. Both of his eyes watched the flickering stars in the sky. This posture of his had just reached the third hour mark when the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth was suddenly lifted into a slight arc. He slowly shut his eyes. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength spread out from between his eyebrows like floodwaters the moment he shut his eyes. His majestic spiritual strength unfurled. After which, it reached into the bright starry sky. The spiritual strength unrolled in the sky like a wave of water. That unusual feeling of being filled with spirituality had accompanied his spreading spiritual strength. It quietly inscribed a vague imprint on Xiao Yan's widespread spiritual strength like a mysterious, searing seal. Xiao Yan, who had his eyes shut, did not discover that his completely still body had begun to emit a weak fluorescent glow at this moment. This kind of fluorescent glow was extremely mysterious. One's naked eye was unable to see it. Instead, one must use one's spiritual strength in order to sense it. The somewhat withered yellow grass around Xiao Yan's body began to lose its withered yellow color under the shine of this weak fluorescent glow. Buds quietly appeared, causing it to appear full of spirituality. At this moment, Xiao Yan was naturally unable to know about the changes around his body. With his spiritual strength spreading further, that blurry imprint grew. Xiao Yan's soul appeared to be a bath under warm sunlight, in the face of the deepening searing imprint, causing him to feel an unusually potent feeling of comfort. The spreading of his spiritual strength continued for an unknown length of time. Suddenly it barged into an unknown place and abruptly shook. By the time Xiao Yan recovered, he discovered that his soul's sight could see an endlessly large dragon curled up on the ground. Both of its huge dragon's eyes were tightly shut. A kind of strange purple-black flame lingered over its body. 
Xiao Yan's heart suddenly felt a familiar feeling when his spiritual strength saw the purple-black colored flame. A soft gasp immediately sounded within his soul. Three. Three thousand burning flame? Who dares to peep into the star region of the Pill City? A stern cry suddenly sounded from deep within Xiao Yan's soul while he had gasped. The sudden, stern cry caused Xiao Yan's spreading spiritual strength to blast apart. Immediately, it quickly disappeared from this overcast star space. A kind of faint spirituality was vaguely left behind following the scattering of Xiao Yan's soul. Huh, it is actually a soul state spirit? A vague, mysterious voice sounded within empty space after appearing to have sensed the remnant spirituality of the soul. Xiao Yan, who had his eyes tightly shut in the distant Yi Manor within the outer region of the Holy Pill City, suddenly opened them. His legs took two unsteady steps back. His expression was a little pale as he turned to the deepest regions of Holy Pill City. The place he had sensed the 3000 burning flame earlier was definitely in that direction. Pill City Star Region. That place is where the 3000 burning flame was sealed, huh? End of chapter. Chapter 1130. Branch Tower. Xiao Yan's eyes were locked on the sky of the Holy Pill City inner region. It was a long while later before he slowly withdrew his eyes. He rubbed his forehead with his hand. Xiao Yan's head was currently feeling a little giddy due to the terrifying cry from earlier. It is indeed worthy of being the Pill Tower. There is such a frightening expert. Xiao Yan softly sighed. He let out a bitter laugh. The owner of that cry earlier did not even reveal a figure, yet it had shattered Xiao Yan's soul with just mere words. This strength was likely something that only some tier 8 alchemists could achieve. Xiao Yan gradually withdrew his mind. His gaze swept around him, and he immediately became dull because the courtyard was currently filled with a kind of freshness. Tender, green grass protruded from the ground, dyeing the withering yellow ground with a great amount of life. What's this? Xiao Yan frowned. He clearly remembered this place being old and damaged where wild grass grew in clusters during the day, yet why had there been such a drastic change? Could it be because of what happened earlier? Xiao Yan suddenly pondered the change after this idea appeared in his heart. Earlier, he had been guided by this starry sky, and he seemed to have vaguely entered a mysterious state. Xiao Yan shut both of his eyes slightly the moment he thought of this. A moment later, he suddenly opened them. There was some shock and joy that was difficult to hide within his eyes. The spirituality that is within my soul seems to be much denser when compared to before. Xiao Yan was extremely unfamiliar with this so-called soul state. He did not know how he could strengthen the spirituality within his soul. Hence, he could only rely on occasionally entering a unique condition in order to improve. However, such a condition was something that he could only encounter, but not seek out. Other than the time when he had refined pills until he had gone crazy, it had only appeared tonight. Regardless of what the case was, the growth of the spirituality within Xiao Yan's soul was considered a good matter to him. Based on this speed, it is likely that I will be able to advance to that so-called soul state if I enter a mysterious condition a couple more times. If that is the case, I will be confident during this pill gathering. Xiao Yan slowly stretched his lazy waist after having sensed the comfort from the spirituality that filled his soul. All this while, he was having greedy thoughts. While Xiao Yan was feeling joyous over the increase in the spirituality within his soul, there was information flowing within an empty space in the distant inner region of the Holy Pill City. After which, the information was exchanged. There is someone who peeped into the star region earlier. However, it was fortunate that he did not wake the 3000 burning flame. Otherwise, there would have been some trouble again. An elderly voice slowly sounded within the emptiness. Have you discovered who it was? No, however, this person's spiritual strength is quite strong. Based on my guess, he is likely a tier 8 alchemist who had stepped into the soul state. Could it be someone from the Hall of Souls? They are really interested in the 3000 burning flame. Based on some information I've obtained, the Hall of Souls will dispatch someone to join this pill gathering. If they are allowed to obtain a spot in the top 10, it is likely that they will act on the 3000 burning flame. A low, uncertain voice suddenly sounded. I don't know. Although I have shattered the soul of the person peeping in, it was merely a wisp of soul. It did not cause much harm to the actual person. Strengthen the defenses a little. The 3000 burning flame will become stronger as it absorbs the light from the stars. It is impossible for us to continue sealing it. However, its grudge is very great. Once the seal is undone, it is likely that the entire Holy Pill City will be destroyed by it. It will be the best if someone can subdue it. Of course. 
the one who subdues it must not be someone like a member of the Hall of Souls. Quite a number of alchemist souls in this continent have landed in their hands. Those fellows from the Hall of Souls. What exactly are they planning to do? They have captured so many spiritual bodies. Ugh, I feel a little uneasy. The space descended into a silence after this person spoke. It is rumored that even Yao Chen has landed in the hands of the Hall of Souls. The silence continued for a while before a low, deep old voice slowly sounded. Yao Chen Ha. What a distant name. Ugh, originally, he should also have a seat among us three great heads of the Pill Tower. However, his mind is not here. Those fellows from the Hall of Souls are really overboard. I think that you have all heard of the big battle within the Pill region some time earlier. It is rumored that there is someone among them who is Yao Chen's disciple. Ha ha, Yao Chen's disciple ha. Huh? I really wish to meet him. By being able to be selected by that extremely picky fellow to be a disciple, it is likely that he possesses quite outstanding abilities. I wonder just how he will compare with the Cao clan and the Dan clan. Those two are of a monster-like class. Based on their momentum, they will very likely possess the qualification to be the next great heads of the Pill Tower a century later. Ah. Forget it. There is no need to be bothered about anything else. The Pill Gathering is about to start. We should organize it properly. As for the Hall of Souls, they might be strong, but they cannot do as they like. If any soul-stirring conspiracies are uncovered, the Gu Clan and some of the hidden ancient factions will not allow them to do as they like. Currently we just need to prevent the 3000 burning flame from landing in the hands of the Hall of Souls. Let's scatter first. Be more attentive during this period of time. Yes. After this voice sounded, the conversation between the great heads of the Pill Tower slowly ended in this illusionary space. When the little fairy doctor woke up from her deep sleep the next morning, she was a little startled upon seeing the scene of spring within the courtyard. You have awakened? Xiao Yan, who was training on a large rock, also opened his eyes at this moment. He looked at the little fairy doctor, smiled and asked. The little fairy doctor slightly smiled. She stood up and the black robe on her body rolled down. Her body vaguely trembled upon seeing the robe. After which, she squatted down and picked up the black robe. Her hand gently rubbed the robe as a warmth flashed across her grayish-purple eyes. Mr. Xiao Yan, have you woken up? An elderly voice sounded from outside the courtyard. Yi Zhong's figure appeared at the door. He involuntarily smiled when he saw Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor inside. Xiao Yan leaped down from the stone and asked with a grin, are we about to leave? Yi Zhong nodded and replied, let's go. I will bring you to the test location of the Pill Tower to get a tier badge that is recognized by the Pill Tower. The little fairy doctor and the rest can remain here. They need not follow this time around. The little fairy doctor hesitated for a moment upon hearing this. She looked at Xiao Yan. Only when he tilted his head did she softly utter, the both of you should be careful. Xiao Yan smiled. His eyes interacted with Yi Zhong for a moment before turning around and heading out of the Yi Manor. Xiao Yan followed Yi Zhong. They walked for around 10 minutes after leaving the Yi clan, before they finally stopped in front of an ancient stone tower in the outer city of the Holy Pill City. A countless number of alchemists were coming and going outside of this stone tower. The noise transformed into numerous waves that spread apart. This is a branch tower that the Pill Tower has established. It is similar to the branch associations of some empire's alchemist association. Yi Zhong led Xiao Yan as they followed the human flow into the ancient stone tower, while he softly explained. Xiao Yan swept his gaze around the interior of the stone tower after entering. The interior was unexpectedly spacious and was not smaller than the headquarters of the alchemist association in the GMA Empire. At this moment, the interior of the tower had quite a number of alchemists wearing various alchemist robes that represented different tiers as they shuffled around the tower. The north of the tower is a transaction area. Many alchemists will exchange medicinal ingredients, medicinal pills, etc. that they need there. Yi Zhong pointed to the north of the tower after describing the makeup of the tower. However, there is usually nothing good in this place. In two days' time, the Holy Pill City will have a special auction. That auction is one where alchemists can trade with each other. Only those alchemists recognized by the Pill Tower have the qualification to participate in it. We can perhaps make a trip there. Quite a number of rare items frequently appears in that place. Xiao Yan lifted his eyebrows upon hearing this. An auction that was completely made up of transactions between alchemists was really quite rare. However, he was indeed a little interested in this. Moreover, even if he could not find the things he needed there, he would gain some exposure from it. 
Ha ha, follow me. The southern area is where the tear recognition is being held. Yi Zhong smiled. He turned his body and walked to the south. Xiao Yan also swiftly followed. By the time Xiao Yan and Yi Zhong arrived at the test area, there was already a long queue there. Yi Zhong slightly frowned upon seeing this. He said to Xiao Yan, You should wait here for a while. I will try to use some connections. If we continue to wait in this manner, it is likely that we will not be able to finish the test today. Xiao Yan nodded. His eyes sent off Yi Zhong's back. After which, he habitually took a step back. Immediately, he sensed his back collide with a softer body. Ah. A soft exclamation sounded behind Xiao Yan. He hurriedly turned around and saw a young lady had fallen on the ground after colliding with him. He extended his hand in a lightning-like fashion and grabbed the young lady. Don't. The young lady hurriedly cried out when she saw that Xiao Yan was grabbing at her. However, her voice was a little late. Xiao Yan's hand had already reached her arm with lightning-like speed. Before he could use any force, however, his expression had become horrified. This was because he realized that the spiritual strength lingering between his eyebrows was gushing out and beginning to show signs of surging into the body of this young lady. Xiao Yan violently bit the tip of his tongue. He released his hand as though he had suffered from an electric shock. After which, he took two steps back with some lingering fear. His eyes were shocked as he looked at the small, pale-faced young lady in front of him. There was a badge on the chest of this young lady. The badge was a circular drawing that appeared like a medicinal pill. Someone from the Dan clan? End of chapter. Chapter 1131. Test. The young lady was really quite young. She merely looked around 18 or 19. Her delicate body was small, while her pretty face appeared pale. From the looks of it, she seemed to be in a sickly state. Of course, the thing that attracted Xiao Yan's eyes was not this young lady's outer appearance. Instead, it was that circular-shaped badge on her chest. He had seen this badge on the mysterious Snow White carriage when he had arrived in Holy Pill City. Hence, he understood that this badge was the clan badge of the Dan clan, one of the five great clans of the Pill region. You. Are you alright? The young lady supported herself to her feet with her hands. She timidly glanced at Xiao Yan and softly inquired. Xiao Yan's mind only shifted away from the badge of the Dan clan upon hearing the young lady's voice. His eyes looked at the young lady in front of him with surprise. The horrific scene from earlier had caused his heart to pound at this moment. Earlier, he had clearly sensed an extremely strange suction force had erupted from the interior of this young lady's body. Under the suction force, even his soul could not resist but show the terrifying signs of being sucked out. Xiao Yan rubbed his hand. He took another step back without anyone noticing. This young lady might appear 17 or 18, but she emitted a strangeness. Moreover, she was someone from the Dan clan, which kept an extremely low profile. This caused Xiao Yan to involuntarily be a little more cautious. I'm fine. The young lady only let out a gentle sigh of relief after seeing Xiao Yan shake his head. However, her gaze was a little strange when she looked at Xiao Yan. It seemed that she was a little surprised that Xiao Yan could remain fine even after having touched her. That? I'm sorry. The young lady swept her eyes over Xiao Yan's face and apologized to him. After which, she turned around and rushed off without waiting for Xiao Yan to reply. She merged into the human flow and disappeared. Xiao Yan's eyebrows were involuntarily knit when he saw this young lady go, whose every action was emitting a strangeness. He vaguely felt that this young lady was not simple. Xiao Yan, follow me. Yi Zhong's voice suddenly sounded beside Xiao Yan's ears while he was deep in thought. Xiao Yan hurriedly recovered. He looked at the frowning Yi Zhong, who had walked to his side, and asked, Can we enter? Uh. Yi Zhong nodded. He hesitated for a moment and said, I have used some connections that can allow you to use a special examination room. However, there are some other people in that examination room now. In my opinion. Perhaps we should come tomorrow? Xiao Yan looked at the somewhat dim expression of Yi Zhong. He raised his eyebrows and asked, Are they the other clans? Yi Zhong was startled upon hearing this. He bitterly smiled, nodded, and sighed, coincidentally the Bai clan and the Q clan are also here to take the test. In the past, these two clans had been suppressed by the Yi clan. Now that they have turned things around with much difficulty, they naturally act like little men intoxicated by their success. Every time we meet, they take the opportunity to mock me. This old face of mine is fine with it, but I'm afraid they may utter some awful words to you. Xiao Yan smiled. He patted Yi Zhong's shoulders and said, we have already come. 
Don't tell me that we should return empty-handed? Yi Zhong hesitated for a moment upon hearing Xiao Yan. He could only nod his head as he said, all right, you should just act like you have not heard them no matter what they say. Yi Zhong turned around after saying this. He walked along a special path. Xiao Yan followed close behind. The two of them successfully entered the special path in front of the many surprised eyes around them. They passed by the somewhat dim path before a bright light suddenly appeared in front of them. Xiao Yan and Yi Zhong followed the light forward. An extremely spacious room immediately appeared in the eyes of the two of them. This room was very spacious. Moreover, it was extremely quiet. Not the least bit of noise from the outside world was transmitted into this place. At this moment, there were nearly 10 plus people standing in the room. All of their eyes paused on Xiao Yan and Yi Zhong at this moment. He he, Elder Yi Zhong. It is unexpected that you have brought someone to take the test. Looks like the other people also know that this is a rather embarrassing errand. Before Xiao Yan and Yi Zhong could say anything after they had just entered the room, an ear piercing laugh was transmitted over. Xiao Yan's expression did not change. His gaze followed the voice only to see a gray clothed old woman. Her parted mouth was filled with yellow teeth as she revealed a ridicule in her eyes while looking at the two of them. There were three white clothed young men standing behind the gray clothed old woman. Two men and one woman. The three of them had nice appearances, especially the white clothed lady. She had a tall, lovely body that was sexy and well proportioned. It possessed a great amount of allure. The eyes of the two men beside her continuously pausing on parts of her body. There was a fiery heat and greed within their eyes. The white clothed lady appeared extremely cold. Her pretty eyes swept over Xiao Yan and Yi Zhong, and her eyes contained a disdain and ridicule that she could not hide. Currently, the Yi clan was no longer able to hold on to the name of being one of the five great clan. It was a little embarrassing mentioning them. This noisy old woman is someone from the Bai clan. Yi Zhong's face twitched because of the old woman's ridicule, while he softly introduced her to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. His eyes landed on another spot. There were also three people standing there. The one leading them was a yellow-clothed old man. There was a man and a woman behind him. The man was handsome while the woman was beautiful. They appeared like an extremely matching pair. Although these three people did not utter any mocking words, their eyes merely swept over Xiao Yan's group before turning away. Their disdain and contempt was even more infuriating. Although Yi Zhong did not introduce these three people, Xiao Yan also understood that they should be the so-called members of the Q clan. Kiki, have the people from the Yi clan also arrived. There was another a white-haired old man in purple alchemist robes within the room. The smile on his face was much more sincere when he saw Yi Zhong. Clearly, he had some sort of friendship with Yi Zhong. I have troubled Elder Wei Li. Yi Zhong cupped his hands to the white-haired old man as he courteously replied. Ugh, what is there to be so courteous about between the two of us? The old man who was called Wei Li sighed when he saw how Yi Zhong acted. All right, Yi Zhong, there is no need to be so long-winded. I do not wish to be delayed because of you. Is this brat the person that your Yi clan has sent over? Why does he not even have a tear badge? Don't tell me that he has never obtained a badge from the pill tower? The gray-clothed old woman waved her hand impatiently. She immediately glanced at Xiao Yan and coldly laughed. I have really never obtained any badge from the pill tower. This is also my first time here. Xiao Yan honestly replied in the face of the ridicule from this gray-clothed old woman. He. As expected. A harsh smile was lifted on the corner of the gray-clothed old woman's mouth when she heard this. The cold, white-clothed lady by the side also looked at Xiao Yan with some disdain. Her voice was indifferent as she said, this is a special examination room. Only someone who is being tested for a badge that is tier 5 and above has the qualification to enter. Is Elder Yi Zhong not aware of this? You should manage yourself properly. The people from the Bai clan have a really poor upbringing. Yi Zhong's expression sank as he coldly reprimanded. The face of the white-clothed lady changed slightly upon hearing Yi Zhong's jilly cry. She immediately let out a cold snort. He he, it has been a few years since we have met. Yi Zhong, your temper is really becoming worse. However, if your Yi clan is unable to enter the top three in this test, it is likely that you will have to give up your position as one of the five great clans. The gray clothed old woman mocked. All right, this is the Holy Pill City. It is not the territory of your own clan. If you have any objections, you can head to other places to take the test. That white haired old man frowned at this moment and spoke in a deep voice. 
The room became much quieter after everyone heard the white-haired old man speak. We will follow the order of arrival. You clan, you will take the test first. The white-haired old man's eyes turned to the three people from the Q clan who had not joined the conversation. He faintly spoke to them. The man and woman behind the elder from the Q clan swiftly stepped forward upon hearing this. They cupped their hands respectfully to the white-haired old man. What tier badge are the two of you preparing to take? The white-haired old man swept his eyes over them as he randomly asked. Tier 6 middle grade. The white-haired old man raised his eyebrows upon hearing this. He looked at these two with some surprise. It was considered quite good to be able to take the test for the tier 6 middle grade at this age. It seemed that this Q clan had gained some talent during these years. The two of you should wait for a moment. You will head to the Shuen Gate in a while. There will naturally be someone who will test you inside. The white-haired old man pointed to the second of four doors from the left as he instructed them. This man and woman with good looks nodded and took a step back. They exchanged looks with one another, appearing a little proud. The surprise of the white-haired old man caused them to feel quite satisfied. By clan. The two men behind the grey-clothed old woman were the first to step forward after seeing the eyes of the white-haired old man turn toward them. They said in a clear, loud voice, Tier 6 middle grade. The voices of these two were quite loud. It caused the man and woman from the Q clan earlier to change their expressions. A soft snort was immediately emitted from their nostrils. That cold white clothed lady slowly stepped forward after the two of them and uttered, Tier 6 high grade. The expression of the old man from the Q clan changed slightly upon hearing this, while the grey clothed old woman displayed a proud smile on her face. Not bad. The white haired old man slowly nodded. This Bai clan was filled with talent. Compared to the Yi clan. The white haired old man sighed in his heart when he thought of this. His eyes turned to Yi Zhong as he said, Yi Zhong. It's your turn. All the gazes within the room instantly gathered on Xiao Yan after his words sounded. There was faint disdain in their eyes. The Yi clan had lost quite a lot of face during these years. Xiao Yan slowly stepped forward in front of the many gazes. He glanced at the white-haired old man and asked, what is the highest tier that I can be examined for in this place? The white-haired old man was startled when he heard this, while the others let out mocking laughs. Tier 7 middle grade. This is the limit I can examine here because the old me is merely of the tier 7 low grade. Which tier test do you wish to take? Xiao Yan slowly nodded and randomly uttered, in that case, tier 7 middle grade. The ridicule within the room immediately ceased when these words sounded. End of chapter. Chapter 1132. Tier 7 middle grade alchemist. The atmosphere within the room had become unusually quiet because Xiao Yan's earlier sentence. Their eyes were stunned as they looked at Xiao Yan. It was a moment later before the shock disappeared and slowly transformed into scoff. He he, Yi Zhong, since when has your members of the Yi clan started playing this kind of grand tactic? This is the testing point of the pill tower. It is not your Yi clan's testing area. The grey-clothed old woman coldly laughed after being the first to recover. The three young man and woman from the Bai clan by her side turned their mocking eyes to Xiao Yan after the old woman's cold laugh rang out. It appeared as though they were watching a show. None of them believed that this little fellow, who had never come to the pill tower, would possess the qualification to take the test for a tier 7 middle grade alchemist badge. Although the three people from the Q clan did not laugh like the Bai clan, their eyes swept across Xiao Yan with some doubt. Clearly, they also thought that this little fellow was bluffing. This place will not tolerate you joking around. Are you certain you wish to take the test for a tier 7 middle grade badge? The white-haired old man also revealed a shock in his eyes as he looked at Xiao Yan. Immediately, his expression became solemn as he asked in a deep voice. While the white-haired old man spoke, his eyes also turned to Yi Zhong beside Xiao Yan. The shock in his heart involuntarily became even more intense upon seeing the slight smile on Yi Zheng's face. Could this little fellow really possess such an ability? Such a young tier 7 alchemist. This was a little incredible. Yes. Xiao Yan continued to nod upon hearing the deep voice of the white-haired old man. He immediately cupped his hands together and asked, I will be troubling Elder Han. May I know what steps are needed in order to take the test for a tier 7 middle grade alchemist? The expression of the white-haired old man also became graver after hearing Xiao Yan's insistence. If Xiao Yan was not a fool, he would not use this test to seek his own humiliation in such a situation. Even though this was the case, he really felt some disbelief in his heart. 
since you insist, we will do as you say. Hopefully, you are not joking around. Additionally, you can just call me Deacon Han. I am unworthy of the title elder. Han Li slowly nodded as he replied. Chi. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. However, a snicker sounded from the side. He turned his gaze, only to see the cold woman from the Bai clan. The corner of her mouth contained a chilly ridicule. Clearly, she despised Xiao Yan's actions. According to normal circumstances, she was the one being tested for the highest tier among those present. She would naturally be the most dazzling person within this special examination room. However, this kind of situation where she was the center of attention had been broken by Xiao Yan's random disturbance. Her heart was naturally a little displeased. Moreover, in her heart, she felt that Xiao Yan was attempting to act grand by taking the test for the Tier 7 middle grade badge. With the Yi clan declining to a point where it could not decline further, how could it be possible for such talent, which even the Bai clan could not compete with, to appear? Xiao Yan merely smiled in the face of a certain woman's laugh that was full of contempt. What he had experienced was far from what this woman, who had been greatly sought after within the clan could imagine. His mental state would not be affected by this kind of childish enmity and disdain from her. Since everyone has already decided, we should begin. Han Li waved his hand. After which, he pointed at the four doors behind him. Each of these four doors had their own ancient words above them. They were Tian, Di, Xuan, Huang. Those taking the test for the tier 6 middle grade should enter the Xuan room. The one taking the high grade should enter the Di room. Han Li's gaze turned to Xiao Yan after saying those words. He said, as for you, you will wait for their test to finish. After which, I will personally lead you into the Tian room and personally conduct the test for you. Xiao Yan titled his head in acknowledgement. Everyone else should enter their respective rooms. Han Li nodded and commanded after seeing that no one had any objections. Hearing this, the other five people from the Bai and Q clan, with the exception of Xiao Yan, separated and entered the rooms that represented their level. The white-clothed cold lady appeared like an arrogant swan as she entered the D room alone. The remaining four people entered the Xuan room. The place gradually became quiet after the five people entered the rooms. Xiao Yan stood there. His eyes swept around him before he shut them to recuperate. That old woman from the Bai clan glanced at Xiao Yan. She spoke in a sharp tone, appearing to be dissatisfied with the silence. Yi Zhong, the young people that your clan teaches these days are really becoming arrogant. No wonder you are unable to find any members of the younger generation you can use these days. Yi Zhong coldly smiled and replied, using one's position to bully others. It is just that the old me does not wish to argue with you. With your tier 7 low grade level, you do not have the qualification for the old me to pay attention to you. Did you not forget your disgusting mannerisms when my Yi clan was strong back then? Yi Zhong's fierce retort caused the old woman's face to instantly become green. Her eyes were dark and dense as she stared at Yi Zhong. She laughed sharply, a light, I will remember these words of yours. Once your Yi clan is removed from the five great clans, I will let you regret the words that you have said today. The old man from the Q clan by the side slightly frowned. Although he also looked down on the Yi clan, which was in decline, it did not reach the point of adding insult to injury. After all, all clans rose and fell. No one could guarantee that the other party would not rise again. Noisy, not only are the young from the Bai clan uneducated, but even the old are the same. Yi Zhang's expression was gloomy in the face of the sharp voice from the grey-clothed old woman. Before he could speak, Xiao Yan opened his eyes. He coldly glanced at the woman and faintly spoke. Little bastard, who do you think you are? You dare to speak to me in this manner? Xiao Yan's words caused the face of the grey-clothed old woman to turn dark and chilly. Yi Zhang's strength was a little stronger than hers. Therefore, she was able to endure a little of his cold mockery. However, this Xiao Yan was merely a member of the younger generation in her eyes. The body of the grey-clothed woman moved after uttering these words. She rushed forward very quickly, and her sharp nails ruthlessly pierced toward Xiao Yan's throat like blades. Xiao Yan's dark black eyes looked at the old woman rushing over. He narrowed his eyes and slowly clenched his hands under his sleeves. The dew key within his body was flowing at this moment. He did not mind giving this noisy old woman a lesson she would not forget in this place. Stop. Just when the dew key within Xiao Yan's body surged and he was prepared to attack, a human figure suddenly flashed and appeared in front of him. He cried out in a deep voice, this is a branch tower of the Pill Tower, not your Bai clan. You better keep yourself in check. 
The gray-clothed old woman's expression changed when she saw Han Li was blocking in front of Xiao Yan. Her body immediately moved, and she took two steps back. Her gaze was dense as she stared at Xiao Yan and said, little bastard. You better not let this old me find you alone. Otherwise, I do not mind letting the Yi clan lose a member of the younger generation. When she finished speaking, the old woman's dark and cold eyes slid to Yi Zhong, who had not moved. A strange smile surfaced on Yi Zhong's face in the face of the old woman's dark and dense eyes. If this old woman were aware that even Jianxi from the Ice River Valley had been beaten by Xiao Yan to the point of being seriously injured, would she have the courage to utter these words? Xiao Yan's eyes were calm as they glanced at the gray-clothed woman. He slowly spread his hands under his sleeves with his palms facing up. If Han Li had not suddenly intervened, it was likely that this hateful old woman would no longer have the strength to say anything by now. Xiao Yan's calm, disregardful gaze resulted in the gray-clothed old woman feeling an urge to twitch the corner of her eye. This brat. Although he did not speak much, each and every action he made was filled with an endless amount of arrogance. This point also caused Xiao Yan to appear displeasing in her eyes. The eyes from the old man from the Q clan also paused on Xiao Yan's body. He immediately shook his head as he quietly sighed in his heart. This member of the younger generation from the Yi clan really could not make it. Offending an expert from the Bai clan in such a place was really not a logical thing to do. The room had become much calmer after Han Li appeared. However, the eyes of the gray-clothed old woman became denser as she looked at Xiao Yan. They caused one to feel somewhat chilled. Creak. This unusually quiet atmosphere continued for an unknown amount of time before the tightly shut Xuan door was slowly opened. Four people slowly walked out. Other than one person, whose face was flushed red, the chests of the remaining three had a badge on them. A flame was winding around the badge, forming a tower shape. There were six purple gold stars emitting a glaring glow on it. If one were to carefully observe these six purple gold stars, one would discover that the sixth star was a little dimmer compared to the previous five stars. This was the indication of the middle grade. If it was the low grade, the star would be even dimmer. However, if it was the high grade, the star would be as bright as the other stars. The tier 6 middle grade test has completed. Two people from the Q clan have passed while one person from the Bai clan has passed. Han Li glanced at the four of them before slowly speaking. A smile surfaced on the face of the old man from the Q clan upon hearing this, while the gray-clothed old woman frowned. She viciously started at the man who had failed to pass the test. Soon after these words from Han Li sounded, the tightly shut D door was slowly opened. A white-clothed woman slowly walked out with arrogant footsteps. Her voluminous chest had a flickering badge. There were six bright purple gold stars on it. Tier 6 high grade. The test for the tier 6 high grade is over. The Bai clan has passed. The announcement of Han Li made the arrogant smile on the white-clothed woman whiter. She felt the envious gazes and her vanity was greatly satisfied. The cold woman walked to the sight of the gray-clothed old woman. Her eyes stared at Xiao Yan with great interest. She really wanted to see just how he would let his grand act end. Next will be the tier 7 middle grade test. I will personally conduct the test. Follow me. Han Li's gaze was somewhat helpless as he glanced at Xiao Yan, who had appeared indifferent from the beginning. He shook his head and walked to the Tian examination room. Xiao Yan did not hesitate upon seeing Han Li walk away. He followed Han Li, and the both of them slowly disappeared into a the room in front of the many gazes. The gray-clothed old woman's group might have already finished the test, but they did not immediately leave. Instead, their eyes revealed ridicule as they stared at Yi Zhong and laughed in a dark manner. TCH TCH, I want to remain behind and see if that brat still has that awful mouth when he fails the test. Yi Zhong, looks like you will lose some face again today. End of chapter. Chapter 1133 teaching a lesson. Yi Zhang placed his hands behind his back in the face of the ridicule from the gray-clothed old woman as he waited for the final test result. Another half an hour passed before the tightly shut yawn door was slowly opened with a slight creaking sound. The attention of everyone in the room was braced when they saw that there was finally a reaction. After which, their eyes instantly focused on the door. A white-haired figure slowly stepped out after the door was opened. At this moment, Han Li was knitting his eyebrows. He shook his head and softly sighed. Joy immediately surfaced on the gray-clothed old woman's face when she saw how Han Li acted. After which, her eyes turned to the area behind Han Li. Xiao Yan's skinny figure was slowly appearing at that spot. 
All the gazes within the room immediately paused on his chest when he appeared. That spot was currently still empty. Tisk tisk. A mocking expression quickly surged on the gray-clothed old woman's face after she failed to see any tear badge on Xiao Yan's chest. A proud laugh was involuntarily emitted from her throat. That white-clothed cold lady by the gray-clothed old woman's side also lifted the corner of her mouth. She slowly shook her head. This person was indeed a clown who only knew how to act great. It was funny that she had really waited here for half a day. That old man from the Q clan also shook his head. His eyes contained some pity as he glanced at Yi Zhong. This Yi clan really appeared to be finished. Yi Zhong merely frowned in the face of the gazes within the room that were filled with various emotions. However, his expression was not as pale as the others had imagined. He was clearly aware of Xiao Yan's ability. Although he did not dare to say he was 100% confident that Xiao Yan could obtain a Tier 7 Middle Grade Alchemist badge, he was, at the very least, 80% confident. Moreover, looking at Xiao Yan's expression, it did not appear to be that of someone who had failed. He he, trash is trash. No matter how one jumps, one will only be a clown. The Yi clan is finished. The gray-clothed old woman's ear-piercing laughter sounded within the room. The joy within her heart at seeing Xiao Yan fail was really not something that could be described by mere words. Han Li frowned in the face of the sharp laughter from the gray-clothed old woman. He focused on her and faintly said, it is a little too early for you to be happy. Who told you that he has failed the test? Han Li's voice had halted the laughter of the gray-clothed old woman. Her face immediately became a little volatile as she coldly laughed, Deacon Han, there is no need to give any face to Yi Zhong. If this brat has passed the test, why is it that I cannot see his tear badge? Han Li looked at this gray-clothed old woman somewhat pitifully. He shook his head and said, he has already successfully passed a test for the tier 7 middle grade level. The reason why I did not give him the tier badge is because the old me feels that he should be able to get an even higher level badge. Therefore, I am debating on if I should let him head to the Pill Tower headquarters to take another test. Han Li's voice was undoubtedly as if a bolt of lightning had exploded on the ground. It caused everyone's faces to instantly stiffen. Their gazes of disbelief were gathered onto Xiao Yan's face, the white-clothed lady in particular was full of disbelief. The expression on her face was extremely interesting. Deacon Han, we should forget about the matter of heading to the headquarters to be tested. Xiao Yan appeared to have not witnessed the stiffened faces as he spoke to Han Li in front of him. Han Li was startled upon hearing this. He could only nod his head as he took out a dazzling badge from his storage ring. After which, he courteously handed it to Xiao Yan. He smiled and said, since you insist, we will do as you say. If you have the time, I advise you to head to the pill tower to be tested. I believe that you have that ability. Xiao Yan randomly flipped the badge after receiving it. This badge was dark with vigor. There was a flame burning on the badge. An enormous tower was within the flame. The tower had seven purple gold bright stars on it. However, the seventh star was a little dimmer than the others. Numerous gazes within the room were startled as they looked at the dazzling badge that Xiao Yan was flipping around in his hand. The room immediately became completely silent. Tier 7 middle grade. Not even that gray-clothed old woman, the old man from the Q clan, or even Han Li, had ever reached that tier. Now, however, this badge that represented glory had landed in the hands of Xiao Yan, who appeared to be an extremely young man. Yi Zhong's face was filled with smiles. He fondled his beard, especially when he saw the interesting expressions of the gray-clothed old woman and the others. Joy that was difficult to describe surged out of his heart. Ever since the decline of the Yi clan, it had been a long time since he had seen these fellows reveal such expressions. The gray-clothed old woman's face was volatile as she looked at the badge in Xiao Yan's hand. A moment later, she finally could not resist uttering, Deacon Han, issuing tear badges is not a joke. Are you certain that there is nothing wrong with the test? Han Li's expression sank upon hearing her words. He demanded, are you doubting that the old me has tampered with it? The gray-clothed old woman hurriedly smiled upon seeing Han Li's sunken face. How would I dare? However, it is just that I find it difficult that the Yi clan, which has declined to such an extent, would be able to produce such a young tier 7 alchemist. The white-clothed lady beside the gray-clothed old woman also slowly recovered. Her eyes were complicated and strange as she glanced at Xiao Yan. Her contempt had already completely disappeared at this moment. Although she was at the tier 6 high grade level, she clearly understood just what kind of great gap was between her and a tier 7 alchemist. 
Moreover, this Xiao Yan was a tier 7 middle grade alchemist. Under this tier 7 middle grade alchemist badge, all of her pride was not even worth mentioning. A person they had mocked since the beginning received a test result that far surpassed them. This was equivalent to giving all of them a tight slap to their faces, causing them to feel a fiery pain. He, what is there to be proud of? He is just a tier 7 middle grade alchemist. I do not believe that he can rescue your Yi clan. The grey-clothed old woman could not resist mocking after seeing the smile on Yi Zhong's face. However, she did not sense her words containing an exceptionally dense sourness. Let's go. The grey-clothed old woman did not intend to stay any longer after being turned into an Ashen state by the tier 7 middle grade badge. She let out a cold cry, turned around, and left. Wait. The grey-clothed old woman had just turned around when a feigned voice suddenly sounded. Her footsteps paused as she turned around. Her eyes contained a cold smile as she looked at Xiao Yan and said, Brat, are you intending to see the old me out? You have just said that I am trash, right? A slight smile was present on Xiao Yan's face as he looked at the grey-clothed old woman. He softly asked. The grey-clothed old woman narrowed her eyes. A chill flashed across them as she said, Young fellow, don't tell me that you don't allow others to say anything about you. It looks like the teachings of the Yi clan have indeed become worse and worse. Xiao Yan slowly shook his head. His foot gently stepped forward, and the muffled sound of thunder appeared. His body suddenly disappeared in the process. The face of the old woman changed the moment Xiao Yan's body disappeared. She flipped her sleeves, and a majestic Du Qi surged out of her body. Her dark and dense eyes swept all around her. Bang. The low and deep sound of rushing wind materialized from behind the grey-clothed old woman, just as her body was pulling back. Her face turned cold as she turned around and threw a punch forward. A vast and mighty force lingered over her fist, causing waves of ripples to be formed in the space. The fist from the grey clothed old woman had just been thrown out when the space in front of her fluctuated. A simple punch penetrated through the space and ruthlessly collided with her fist. Bang! A powerful wind ripple surged out when the two fists collided, shaking the grey clothed old woman's group until they hurriedly pulled back. Grug! The face of the grey-clothed old woman turned pale almost instantly after the two fists collided. Shock surfaced on her face. Immediately, a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. Her body flew backwards and finally collided with a wall. With the exception of Yi Zhong, everyone in the room revealed stunned faces upon seeing the grey-clothed old woman spitting out blood and defeat within the first exchange, especially for those three other members of the Bai clan. They clearly understood the strength of this grey-clothed old woman. She had the strength of a Du Zong, yet she was unable to even block one punch from Xiao Yan. The three of them exchanged glances with one another. The white-clothed lady among them was so shocked that her face had paled. Xiao Yan's figure slowly appeared in front of the ashen faced grey-clothed old woman. His eyes indifferently glanced over her as the corner of his mouth was lifted into an ice-cold arc. Who do you think you are? You dare to utter the word trash in front of me? End of chapter. Chapter 1134. Alchemist Trade Fair. Everyone in the examination room looked at the grey-clothed old woman who was unable to even last for one exchange against Xiao Yan. Some cold sweat surfaced on their foreheads. Xiao Yan had attacked suddenly, and he did not hold back because of the other party's status. He could be considered ruthless. Han Li's face was similarly a little stunned. He only bitterly smiled and shook his head a moment later before glancing at Xiao Yan. This fellow was not as gentle as he looked when he became ruthless. Deacon Han, I'm sorry to fight in this place. Xiao Yan's eyes indifferently glanced at the grey-clothed old woman who had collapsed on the ground. After which, he turned his eyes to Han Li. That warm smile from earlier once again appeared on his face as he spoke apologetically. When everyone saw this smile once again appearing on Xiao Yan's face, no one in the room dared to threaten him as a little sheep whom they could randomly mock. This was predominantly true for those three members of the Bai clan. They took a couple of cautious steps back, afraid that Xiao Yan would suddenly attack them. Even the grey-clothed old woman was no match for Xiao Yan, much less the few of them. Ugh. Han Li sighed. A moment later, he could only wave his hand and say, she can be considered to have reaped what she sowed with regards to this matter. However, your attack is a little too merciless. Forget it, Bai Wei, bring your people and leave. The white-clothed cold lady clenched her silver teeth upon hearing this. Her eyes were a little terrified as she glanced at Xiao Yan. She led the other two members of the Bai clan. They lifted up the grey-clothed old woman, 
who was lying unconscious on the ground after spitting out some blood. After which, they left this examination room in a somewhat miserable manner. The three people from the Kwai clan by the site also did not wish to stay in this place any longer. Their eyes glanced at Xiao Yan with alarm and uncertainty before they withdrew. You little fellow. You really just attack as you wish. Although I feel extremely refreshed in my heart, the Bai clan will definitely not let this matter rest in the future. Yi Zhong could not help but shake his head after seeing the others leaving in a dispirited manner. Xiao Yan smiled and replied, it's fine. If the Bai clan wishes to find trouble with me, I will just have to accompany them. Kiki, looks like the Yi clan is very confident in passing the test this time around. Yi Zhong, congratulations. Han Li slowly stepped forward, cupped his hand to Yi Zhong, and congratulated with a smile. I shall borrow your auspicious words. However, with this matter having occurred, the Bai clan might really send out an expert when the test of the five great clans begins. Their intentions will be to force our Yi clan out of the top three spot. Yi Zhong bitterly laughed. Yes, there is this possibility. The Bai clan has long disliked your Yi clan. They will definitely not hold back if they can add insult to injury. Han Li also frowned slightly and nodded. He said, from what I am aware of, the most outstanding person among the younger generation of the Bai clan is a young man named Bai Ying. This person is not even 20, but he has already reached the tier 7 middle grade level. Moreover, he has remained at this level for three years. If the Bai clan were to send him, it is likely that your Yi clan would find it difficult to enter the top three. Bai Ying. I have heard of this person. He can be considered someone who possesses a great amount of talent and medicinal refinement. Even Cao Dan from the Cao clan is much poorer than him. Yi Zhong's expression was a little solemn. If this Bai clan were really going to send out Bai Ying, the situation would end up a little unpredictable. Other than the Yi clan, the other four great clans among the five great clans were all extraordinary. They did not lack talents comparable to Cao Dan in terms of pill refinement. These people had a great reputation even when placed within the pill region. Even though the Yi clan had Xiao Yan's help this time around, it was still not an easy matter for it to obtain the top three spot. The matter today had completely offended the Bai clan. Additionally, they had offended the Cao clan some time earlier. Therefore, these two clans would definitely send out some troublesome competitors to obstruct the Yi clan. As for the Dan clan, this clan might keep a low profile, but they always steadily alternated between the top or second spot in every test. However, no one had ever seen them falling to third place. Hence, this Dan clan would also be a hidden competitor. Thus, the top three spots were basically occupied by the Cao clan, the Dan clan, and the Bai clan. It would not be easy for the Yi clan to squeeze in. Forget it. There is no need to form such a headache. Since things have already developed to such an extent, we can only leave everything up to fate. Han Li comforted when he saw Yi Zhong's vexed appearance. His gaze immediately turned to Xiao Yan as he laughed, moreover, the helper that your Yi clan has invited this time around is also not an ordinary person. He might even be comparable to these geniuses from the three clans. Yi Zhong only smiled upon hearing this. He sighed, currently, I can only place all my hopes on him. The survival of the Yi clan will be determined by this test. Xiao Yan and Yi Zhong said their goodbyes to Han Li after remaining in the branch tower for some time. The both of them randomly roamed the outer region of the Holy Pill City. With the approaching pill gathering, the Holy Pill City's crowds were also becoming terrifying. Whether it was day or even night, the entire city was so noisy that it could shake the sky. Moreover, with the increases in human traffic, all sorts of people would naturally be mixed among them. Some strange items also began to spread through this place. There was no lack of genuine treasures among them. Of course, this was only the case if one's eyesight was sufficiently good. Yi Zhong finally stopped Xiao Yan, who had wanted to continue roaming about, when the sky was gradually becoming dark. Forget it. If you wish to search for treasures, the alchemist trade fair that will be held the day after will truly be an eye-opener for you. The things there are mostly extraordinary. If you are lucky, you might even be able to obtain an unexpected treasure. Xiao Yan helplessly nodded after hearing Yi Zhong's words. Back then, he had randomly obtained the Skyfire 3 mysterious change from a trade fair. Unfortunately, it seemed that he currently did not possess such good luck. Yi Zhong led the both of them out of the trade area after seeing Xiao Yan withdraw his mind. After which, they hurried back to the Yi clan. Night gradually spread across the sky and once again covered the Holy Pill City. The bright stars lit the empty sky above. 
they flickered one after another, causing the sky to appear brilliant. Xiao Yan stood with his hands behind him in a quiet courtyard. His body was just like a sculpture as he stood under the endlessly vast starry sky. From the looks of the frost that had appeared on his hair, it seemed that he had already stood at the spot for quite a while. This bitter standing continued for another hour or so before Xiao Yan finally opened his tightly shut eyes. His eyebrows came together. I am unable to enter the condition from last night this time around. Ugh, it looks like I can only rely on chance. Xiao Yan softly sighed. He had been thinking that if he could enter that condition a couple more times, he would be able to increase the density of the spiritual aura within his soul, and his soul might be able to advance to that so-called soul state at some point in time. At that time, refining a tier 7 high-grade medicinal pill would no longer pose much of a problem to Xiao Yan. If he were in his peak condition, he might even be able to challenge a tier 8 medicinal pill. At that time, Xiao Yan would have the confidence to stand above everyone else even in the pill gathering. However, this kind of thinking was too misty. The condition from last night was one that he could meet but not desire. No matter how Xiao Yan calmed his heart, the starry sky appeared just like everywhere else, becoming ordinary. It seems that I must go and take a look at the so-called alchemist trade fair the day after tomorrow. It would be best if I am able to obtain something to train my soul there. Xiao Yan shook his head and finally gave up this futile effort. He let out a bitter laugh, turned around, and entered his room. Since he had already planned on participating in the alchemist trade fair, he would need to prepare some things that could attract others. Otherwise, even if someone else's thing caught his eye, it was likely that he would have to quietly give up if he was unable to take out something that the other party was satisfied with. Xiao Yan completely locked himself within his room during the next day. The little fairy doctor and the others did not disturb him. In any case, by looking at the hot air that spread from his room, all of them could guess that Xiao Yan was perhaps refining something again. Xiao Yan hid in his room and refined for one day and one night. Only when the first rays of morning sun cut through the darkness and shot into the small courtyard the next morning, did the tightly shut door slowly open. Xiao Yan walked out of the room. He took in a violent gasp of fresh air. The corner of his mouth parted into a small as he rubbed his storage ring. Although he was a little pressed for time, it was fortunate that he still had some remaining stores from before. In a manner of speaking, he could be considered quite a wealthy person. Yi Zhong, the little fairy doctor, Tian Ho Zunji, and Xin Lan were already standing outside when Xiao Yan left his room and entered the courtyard. They were all looking at him with smiles. He he, are you ready? Yi Zhong involuntarily laughed when he saw Xiao Yan's manner. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. After which, he waved his hand and said, let's go and take a look at just how great this Holy Pill City's alchemist trade fair is. After saying this, Xiao Yan swiftly walked out of the courtyard. After which, he walked in the direction of the alchemist trade fair that Yi Zhong had mentioned two days ago. The little fairy doctor and the rest grinned behind him and followed behind at a steady pace. They were also somewhat interested in this so-called alchemist trade fair. End of chapter. Chapter 1135. Blood Essence Demon Fruit. The Holy Pill City's alchemist trade fair possessed a grand reputation within this region. This trade fair was not as chaotic and messy as other trade fairs. If one had to rank various trade fairs, the trade fair Xiao Yan's group was headed to this time around could be considered a high-class one. It was far different from those small trade fairs that one had been to. The location of this trade fair was in the outer region of Holy Pill City. However, its location was not bad. It was at the intersection between the outer and inner region. It was rumored that this trade fair was supported by the Pill Tower and was the reason why it had developed into such a grand affair. It was precisely for this reason that murdering and robbing when exchanging for things within the trade fair seldom happened. After all, no one could escape being chased by the Pill Tower within this Pill region. Alchemist Trade Fair Xiao Yan stood in front of a building that occupied a vast space as he looked at a pale green wooden plaque. The words Flying Dragon Dancing Phoenix were written on it. He involuntarily wiped off some cold sweat. This trade fair was known by this name. At the moment, the front of this trade fair was filled with people. The human flow was just like floodwater as people moved to and fro. Countless numbers of people in alchemist robes successfully walked by the guards located at the entrance of the trade fair in front of numerous envious gazes. They then entered the building. Is this the place? Xiao Yan looked at the grand trade fair. He turned his head and asked Yi Zhong to his side. That's right. Yi Zhong grinned and nodded. 
He immediately reminisced about fond memories, it has been many years since I have been here. It has changed quite a bit. Xiaoyan smiled after confirming his target. After which, he slowly walked to the front door of the trade fair. When the cold and stern-looking guards were about to stop him, Xiaoyan took the Tier 7 Alchemist badge, which he had just obtained from the test the day before, out of his storage ring. He gently stuck it on his chest. The stern-looking guards slowly took a step back upon seeing the badge on Xiaoyan's chest. After which, they bowed to him. According to the rules of this alchemist trade fair, alchemists Tier 7 and above were allowed to bring some companions. Hence, Xin Lan and the rest were not stopped. Instead, they were allowed to follow Xiao Yan through the spacious front door. There was a spacious and cool pathway behind the large door. Xiao Yan's group had successfully arrived. After which, a seething noise suddenly pounced toward them, entering into their ears. Xiao Yan's eyes swept around him as he stood at the exit of the path. An extremely spacious hall appeared in front of him. Many orderly stone platforms were present within the large hall, appearing like street vendors. There were some people who appeared to be vendors seated behind the stone platforms. They appeared lazy and not like businessmen at all. Of course, they were not businessmen. The crowd within the large hall was terrifying. Moreover, most of them were wearing alchemists' robes. Clearly, they were alchemists. Quite a number of alchemists were swimming through this spacious hall. Occasionally, they would pause and carefully observe some of the items that had been placed on the stone platforms. If there was something that caught their eye, they would stop and begin discussing the terms of the exchange with the vendor. Ha ha, this alchemist trade fair is also divided into regions of different grades. This is merely the region of the third grade. The second grade region is on the second floor, while the first grade region is on the top floor. However, there are conditions one must met in order to enter the areas above. Yi Zhong laughed behind Xiao Yan. One must reach the level of a tier 6 alchemist in order to enter the second floor, while one must, at the very least, reach the seventh tier or be of the Duzun class in order to enter the third floor. Xiao Yan slowly nodded and smiled as he said, let's look around and see if we can find anything good. After speaking, Xiao Yan took the lead and walked into the large hall with great interest. After which, his eyes began to sweep over the surrounding vendors with the intention of finding the things he needed. Yi Zong could only helplessly nod his head when he saw what Xiao Yan did. The few of them followed close behind him. Wandering around this crowded large hall exhausted a lot of time. Xiao Yan had only looked at 20 plus vendors when one hour had passed. What really left him speechless was that he had gained nothing. Although the quality of the items here was much higher compared with some trade fairs, it had not reached a point where he was interested. The things in this place have already been strictly filtered. Moreover, these fellows are all people with extraordinarily sharp eyes. It is not an easy task to obtain a treasure that others did not discover from the hands of these people. Yi Zhong behind Xiao Yan finally could not resist saying after Xiao Yan gradually became disappointed. If you really wish to seek treasure, you will need to head to the second or third floor. Xiao Yan involuntarily rolled his eyes when he heard this. He muttered, you should have just said that earlier. How can I disturb you when you are so excited? Let's go. We'll first head to the second floor. Yi Zhong shook his head. After which, he pointed in the direction that led to the second floor. Xiao Yan nodded and followed. With the qualification of Xiao Yan's group, it was naturally not a problem for them to head to the second follow. Although it was a little strained in regards to Xin Lan, the guards hesitated for a moment, but after they saw the tier 7 middle grade badge on Xiao Yan's chest, they allowed everyone through. The noise was significantly reduced after they got to the second floor. The size of the second floor was also quite large. Bright crystals covered the floor, giving it a smooth mirror-like surface. It caused one to feel a little dazzled looking at it. Quite a number of crystal platforms were present on the crystal floor. One could tell that the things on these crystal platform were of much better quality than those below, with just a glance from afar. The number of people on the second floor was far less than the floor below. Moreover, their tears were also a lot better. All of them quietly looked at the items that caught their eyes before softly discussing the payment with the vendors. Xiao Yan's eyes slowly swept across these crystal platforms. It was a long while later before he finally stopped walking. His eyes paused on a jade box on a platform in front of him. A blood red oval fruit was lying within the jade box. A blood aura seeped from it, causing it to emit waves of life force. The blood essence demon fruit was an extremely rare medicinal ingredient, a demonic fruit that absorbs essence blood. 
This fruit hid underground and absorbed the life force within Essence blood before it eventually transformed into the shape of a fruit. The blood essence demon fruit was a key ingredient in refining the bone-growing blood fusing pill. This bone-growing blood fusing pill was the medicinal pill that Xiao Yan intended to refine at this pill gathering. Peak of the seventh tier. It could even step into the eighth tier. This bone-growing blood fusing pill was terribly difficult to refine. Moreover, the medicinal ingredients needed were unusually rare. The chance of one successfully refining it was extremely low. If Xiao Yan had not chanced upon a couple of lucky encounters recently, gradually filling his soul with spiritual key and allowing him to feel his pill refinement become smoother, he would not intend to refine this bone-growing blood-fusing pill. After all, this medicinal pill was indeed too hard to make. Of course, it might be difficult, but this bone-growing blood-fusing pill was a medicinal pill that Xiao Yan needed to successfully refine. He needed to refine it because of Yao Lao, when he rescued Yao Lao in the future, he would need to resolve the issue of his body. Refining a body would require the bone-growing blood-fusing pill. Yao Lao was not Yan Ho Zunji. Xiao Yan would put in all his effort at all costs in order to refine his body. Only the bone-growing blood-fusing pill would allow the body to be perfect. Refining the bone-growing blood-fusing pill would require three key ingredients. They were the blood essence demon fruit, 10,000-year-old green spiritual vine, and snow bone ginseng. These three types of ingredients need to all be prepared. Up until now, Xiao Yan had only come across this blood essence demon fruit in front of him. He had yet to obtain the other two ingredients. Such rare medicinal ingredients were things that even the Yi clan did not possess. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the blood red fruit within the jade box, a bloody aura permeated it. Immediately, his eyes turned to the cellar behind the stone platform. He was a red-robed elder. A tier 6 badge was on this elder's chest. Kiki, this mister, has something caught your eye? The heart of the red-robed old man was stunned when he saw the badge on Xiao Yan's chest. After which, he cupped his hands together and spoke with a respectful smile. How do you want to exchange for this thing? Xiao Yan did not delay any longer. He pointed at the blood essence demon fruit and asked with a grin. Kiki, it is this blood essence demon fruit. This red-robed old man clearly understood the item he was about to sell. He managed to reveal its origin. The people who could sell things here had eyesight that was not weaker than Xiao Yan. It is likely that Mr. should be aware of the rarity of this blood essence demon fruit. One will use it when refining some tier 7 high-grade medicinal pill. The red-robed old man smiled. He fondled his beard and said, the old me wishes to use this blood essence demon fruit to exchange for a tier 7 middle grade medicinal formula that the old me has never practiced before. Xiao Yan raised his eyebrows. He faintly laughed, you really do know how to joke. This blood essence demon fruit might indeed be rare, but a tier 7 middle grade medicinal formula is a priceless item. Who would take one out and exchange it with you? Although Xiao Yan possessed many high-tier medicinal formulae left behind by Yao Lao, it did not mean he could fearlessly and randomly spend them. The blood essence demon fruit was indeed precious, but it was far from being able to match a tier 7 middle grade medicinal formula. Moreover, this medicinal formula had to be one that the other party had never practiced. The eyes of the red-robed old man were a little embarrassed. He knew he was asking for too much. However, he refused to step back. After all, he was aware that the blood essence demon fruit was the most valuable and precious item among the things in front of him. Xiao Yan shook his head when he saw the red-robed old man refuse to lower his price. He turned around and instructed Xin Lan, we will first head to the top floor and take a look around. You cannot head up there, so you should just remain here. Find a spot and say that you wish to purchase the blood essence demon fruit, 10,000-year-old green spiritual vine, and snow bone ginseng. The conditions for purchasing them are fully refined tier 7 middle grade medicinal pills. Xin Lan nodded when she heard his words. After assigning this task to her, Xiao Yan turned his head to the red-robed old man as he faintly said. This is the price I will set to exchange for the blood essence demon fruit. It is up to you whether you want to exchange it. If you have thought it through, you can go and look for her. Xiao Yan ignored the red-robed old man's frowning expression after speaking. He turned around and walked to the top floor a tier 7 middle grade medicinal pill in exchange for a medicinal ingredient. This was quite a good price. Xiao Yan was too lazy to say any more unnecessary words to this old man if he did not accept this offer. End of chapter. Chapter 1136. Copper Plate. 
The red-robed elder did not even manage to open his mouth before Xiao Yan's figure disappeared by the stairway. Although he struggled over the price within his heart, he understood that the one who could hold out longer would gain the advantage in this transaction. All of them were experienced players when it came to attempting to play hard. It was only a matter of who could simmer until the other party could not endure any longer. That person would be the true winner. Xiao Yan was not surprised by the red-clothed old man's silence. Hence, his feet did not pause. Instead, he headed to the top floor. There were two elderly men standing at the entrance to the stairs that led to the top floor. These two people wore faces that were full of friendly smile. However, the robes on their bodies indicated that they were people from the trade fair. Neither of them wore an alchemist badge on their chest. However, from the vast and might do key that spread from them, it was obvious that these two people were strong expert du zongs. These two old men were initially startled upon seeing Xiao Yan's group walking over. Their eyes swiftly flashed across the badge on Xiao Yan's chest. His bright tier 7 badge caused surprise to flicker in their eyes. It was rare to find such a young tier 7 alchemist. Their eyes paused on Xiao Yan for a moment before turning to Yi Zhong, the little fairy doctor, and Tian Ho Zun Ji. Their eyes slightly narrowed when they passed over the latter two. Although they were unable to sense the exact strength of these two, they understood that these two were frightening existences who had advanced to the Du Zun class. Kiki, important guests, are you planning to head to the top floor? Of the two, the yellow-robed old man took the lead to step forward. He cupped his hands together and asked with a courteous smile. Xiao Yan grinned, cupped his hands together, and nodded. The few of you seem very unfamiliar. It should be the first time that you have come to this alchemist trade fair, right? The yellow-robed elder asked with a smile. Why? Could it be that one must be a regular in order to go up? Xiao Yan raised his eyebrows and questioned. Kiki, sir really knows how to joke. The old me is only posing a random question. Please follow me if you wish to head to the top floor. The yellow-robed old man hurriedly shook his head upon hearing his reply. Although he was quite strong, those who could enter the top floor were all extraordinary people. He naturally did not wish to offend them. The yellow-robed old man took the lead as he turned around. After speaking, he walked forward. Xiao Yan's group slowly followed behind him. The few of them climbed up a short flight of stairs while following the yellow-robed old man. However, Xiao Yan discovered at least five hidden gazes sweeping over their group from some hidden areas during this short flight of stairs, which was just 20 meters long. Looks like this alchemist trade fair does indeed have some background. Xiao Yan muttered in his heart. After which, he slowly climbed the final step. The most mysterious top floor appeared in his sight. The legendary top floor of the alchemist trade fair was not really spacious when compared to the two floors below. However, the sprawling decorations took some effort. This place was not as dazzlingly bright as the second floor. Faint green, warm jade covered the floor. There was a faint warmth surging into one's feet when one stepped on the floor, causing one's entire body to feel unusually comfortable. There were very few people on this top floor that was covered with warm jade. At a glance, there were only a couple dozen people. However, Xiao Yan understood that these dozens of people were true experts or alchemist grandmasters who could stir a commotion in the outside world. The appearance of Xiao Yan's group naturally attracted the attention of some people on the top floor. Immediately, some gazes turned to them. Some surprise flashed across their eyes when they saw the badge on Xiao Yan's chest, as well as the group behind him. Such a young tier 7 middle grade alchemist and two elite du zuns. This lineup was quite strong. Just which wealthy faction did they hail from? Although these people felt curious in their hearts, all of them understood the rules of this place. Hence, it was naturally impossible for them to foolishly try to inquire. This was considered taboo in such a place. Kiki, you can let me know if there is anything that you need. I might be able to provide you with some information. The yellow-robed elder spoke with a grin. Xiao Yan mused for a moment upon hearing his words. He nodded and replied, I need two types of medicinal ingredients. 10,000-year-old green spiritual vine and snow bone ginseng. 10,000-year-old green spiritual vine, snow bone ginseng. The yellow-robed elder muttered the words in his mouth. He thought for a moment and said, they are all very rare medicinal ingredients. They are likely used to refine a high-tier medicinal pill. I do not have any information about the 10,000-year-old green spiritual vine, but as for the snow bone ginseng. It must be said that your luck is good. There is a snow bone ginseng among the items being traded on this floor. Oh. 
Xiao Yan's eyes brightened. It was unexpected that a random inquiry had enabled him to obtain information about the snowbone ginseng. Kiki, follow me. The yellow-robed old man grinned. After which, he turned around and walked to the northern corner. Xiao Yan hurriedly led the other three and followed. Xiao Yan's group followed the yellow-robed elder for some distance before they finally came to a stop at a corner to the north of the top floor. There was a jade platform placed on this spot. Curling chilly air rose from the platform before spreading apart, causing the temperature of the surrounding area to decline. There were some medicinal ingredients, scrolls, medicinal pills, etc. sparsely displayed on the jade platform. From the looks of it, all of them appeared to be extraordinary items. There were quite a number of people gathered around the jade platform. Clearly, they were quite interested in the things on it. Xiao Yan's eyes leaped over the jade platform and paused onto the gray-haired old man's body behind it. This old man was sloppily dressed. His face was filled with a laziness as he bent over the jade platform. He ignored the surrounding observers and dug in his ear without any concern. Kiki, old Yan. Your business is quite good today, right? The yellow-robed old man squeezed to the side of the stone platform as he smiled and asked the gray-haired, sloppy old man. Good my ass. These people only look, but don't buy. They even say that these things are too expensive. If they think they are too expensive, they can head to the lower floor to shop. The sloppy old man rolled his eyes. He spat saliva on the ground without due care of his image. The surrounding people were a little embarrassed upon hearing his words. However, this kind of trade fair was not a suitable place to argue with him. Hence, they could only awkwardly leave. Xiao Yan was startled by the attitude of this sloppy old man. His gaze swept over the other party's chest. There was also a tier 7 badge there. However, it was a tier 7 high-grade badge. Clearly, the other party was a tier 7 high-grade alchemist. Mister, this is the snow bone ginseng that you need. However, the things this old Yan sells are all quite expensive. Therefore, you should be mentally prepared. The yellow-robed old man pointed his finger to the jade platform where a cold air lingered. There was a jade box there. Inside the jade box lay a snow-white bone-like ginseng. Xiao Yan's gaze focused on the snow-white ginseng. He slowly nodded a moment later. From the looks of the glow forming above the ginseng, it should be the snow bone ginseng. There is no need to look. No fakes exist here. Do you wish to buy it? The sloppy old man glanced at Xiao Yan. His gaze paused a little longer on the badge on Xiao Yan's chest. If you wish to obtain the snow bone ginseng, the price is a tier 7 high grade medicinal pill. Xiao Yan slightly frowned upon hearing this. Tier 7 high grade medicinal pill. This fellow was able to utter such words. This old mister, the snow bone ginseng might be precious, but the medicinal pill that it can be used to refine is merely a high grade seventh tier pill. Moreover, that is on the precondition of it acting in consort with other rare medicinal ingredients. Isn't it a little overboard to seek this price for just this snow bone ginseng of yours? Xiao Yan slightly smiled and asked. He, lad, you really have a way with words. However, your words are reasonable. The old me shall take one step back, a tier 7 middle grade. However, the precondition is that you must take out a medicinal pill I want. The sloppy old man laughed. After which, he changed his tone. Clearly, the so-called tier 7 high-grade pill he had started off with was purposefully attempting to fool others. Xiao Yan only nodded upon hearing these words. Using a tier 7 middle-grade medicinal pill to exchange for the ingredient was a condition he could accept. Of course, despite being able to accept that condition, Xiao Yan did not immediately agree to the terms. His eyes slowly swept over the jade platform. Although the sloppy old man kept a terrible appearance, it must be said that the things he sold were all high-quality items. The other few rare medicinal ingredients displayed caused Xiao Yan to involuntarily feel a little speechless. The price of these medicinal ingredients would likely not be lower than the snow bone ginseng. Xiao Yan slowly shifted his eyes. Just when he was about to withdraw his gaze, it suddenly paused. He was staring at the corner of the jade platform. There was a faint yellow copper plate at that spot. That copper plate was covered with some green copper rust. If one were to look carefully, one would be able to see some vague and unique drawings on it. The items on the jade platform all looked good. At a glance, one could tell that they were extraordinary items. Only this faint yellow copper plate appeared like trash among a pile of treasures. It did not attract one's attention. Xiao Yan's eyes paused on this copper plate. His eyebrows were slightly knitted. 
after he carefully observed it, he discovered that he was unable to see anything that stood out on this copper plate. Based on his senses, he found that this thing was so ordinary that it could not be anything more. However, it was this extremely ordinary feeling that caused Xiao Yan to feel a little strange. Xiao Yan, if it is possible, try to obtain that copper plate. I have seen that drawing once. It is something that only appeared in the ancient times. Although I do not know its exact use, anything related to the ancient era is usually not simple. While Xiao Yan was feeling uncertain, a gruff elderly voice suddenly sounded beside his ear. Xiao Yan's heart was shaken upon hearing Tian Ho Zunji's voice being transmitted to him. However, his face revealed nothing. A moment later, Xiao Yan slowly nodded. A fiery heat that an ordinary person would not discover surged into his dark black eyes. End of chapter. Chapter 1137. Exchange. Xiao Yan's eyes merely paused on the copper plate for a moment before they shifted away. Immediately, his eyes swept another round over the jade platform. Along the way, he even acted as though he was interested in some other medicinal ingredients. This continued for a while before he randomly picked up the copper plate on the jade platform in a gentle manner. A faint coolness spread the moment the copper plate entered his hand. Of course, this was not because the copper plate was special. Instead, it was due to it had been stuck within cold air for a long period of time. Xiao Yan flipped this copper plate with some interest. His finger gently rubbed it. The rough feeling caused it to appear just like an ordinary copper plate. If not for the somewhat complicated drawings on it, it was likely that no one would truly treat it as a treasure. Xiao Yan was unable to understand the complicated drawings on it. Moreover, due to the presence of some copper rust, the drawings had become a little distorted. It was difficult to clearly see what it was. This is actually an item from the ancient times? Xiao Yan's heart felt some disbelief as he flipped this copper plate. No matter how he tried to probe it, he was unable to discover the slightest uniqueness. If Tian Ho Zunji had not secretly transmitted words into his ears earlier, it was likely going to be very difficult for him to connect this thing in ancient times. Although Xiao Yan felt some disbelief in his heart, his face appeared extremely calm. He looked as though he merely felt curious about this copper plate. That sloppy old man merely rolled his eyes in the face of Xiao Yan's manner. However, he did not say anything. Xiao Yan was not the only one who was interested in this copper plate. There were quite a number of treasure seekers who had studied it in the past. However, no one ended up exchanging anything for it. Stop dawdling. This copper plate's value is more expensive than the snow bone ginseng. Moreover, there is no bargaining. The sloppy old man dug in one of his ears and spoke in a causal manner. Xiao Yan's finger paused while it rubbed the copper plate. He smiled and asked, is there anything unique about this copper plate? It is even more valuable than the snow bone ginseng? I don't know. The sloppy old man curled his mouth and gave an answer that stunned Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan bitterly smiled. This old fellow was really strange. He was able to give such an answer in a righteous manner. At this moment, the surrounding observers involuntarily laughed because of the sloppy old man's reply. Clearly, they had seldom seen a stall owner of such quality. Although I am unaware of what the use is of this copper plate, I can tell that this is an item from ancient times. The sloppy old man swept his eyes over those who had laughed before snickering. The surrounding laughter immediately halted when these words sounded. Numerous surprised eyes locked onto the copper plate in Xiao Yan's hands. Everyone knew that any item related to the words ancient times was definitely not ordinary. However, they still found it difficult to believe that this ordinary copper plate was related to the ancient times. Compared to the surprise of these people, Xiao Yan's hand involuntarily tightened when he heard the words being uttered by the sloppy old man. It was unexpected that this old man had such sharp eyes. If Tian Ho Zunji had not informed him, Xiao Yan would not have been concerned about this copper plate. From the looks of it, the eyesight of this sloppy old man was quite great. Kiki, may I know how old Mr. is certain that this thing is related to the ancient times? Xiao Yan's heart tightened, but his face still contained a smile. He gently placed the copper plate down, turned his eyes to the sloppy old man and inquired with a smile. The drawing on it is something I have seen in some ancient books. However, you can forget about asking me of its use. I have no idea. Would I take it out and sell it if I really knew what it is? The sloppy old man rolled his eyes and answered. In any case, I believe this thing is related to ancient times. It is up to you if you wish to buy it. Everyone present exchanged looks with one another in the face of the sloppy old man's answer. They helplessly shook their heads. 
How could they simply rely on this one-sided claim of his? No wonder no one had exchanged for it despite having sat here for such a long time. Xiao Yan felt a headache in the face of this old fellow. It appeared that nothing worked on him. After letting out a bitter laugh, Xiao Yan asked, what does old mister wish to exchange this copper plate for? A tier 7 high-grade medicinal formula. The sloppy old man laughed. It was rare that there was someone interested in this thing. Xiao Yan bitterly laughed once again upon hearing what he wanted. He shook his head, regretfully glanced at the copper plate, and said, it's too expensive. Even if it is really as Mr. has said, and this copper plate is an item from ancient times, there are many things that have been left behind since ancient times. Among them are ordinary day-to-day -day items. Just this drawing alone is insufficient to assess its value. Forget it, I shall exchange for the snow bone ginseng. Xiao Yan sighed. He took a jade bottle out of his storage ring and gently placed it on the jade platform. He said, old mister, this is an elemental heart pill. A tier 7 middle grade. If you consume it when refining a pill, it will aid in stabilizing your mind. Hence, it will increase the chances of successfully refining a pill. You will not lose out if I use this to exchange for the snow bone ginseng, will you? The elemental heart pill was considered quite a good assisting medicinal pill. It was really effective for an alchemist. Many alchemists would think of ways to get their hands on a medicinal pill with this kind of effect before beginning their refinements. After all, the things an alchemist were most afraid of during refinement was being interrupted by someone or being unable to focus their mind. With this kind of medicinal pill, they would be able to avoid such disturbances. Moreover, the elemental heart pill was considered the top choice among these assisting medicinal pills. Its actual value was much greater than this snow bone ginseng. Hence, Xiao Yan was not worried that this sloppy old man would not accept it. As expected, a surprise surged up the face of the sloppy old man when the words elemental heart pill entered his ears. He swiftly grabbed the jade bottle and poured out the pale white medicinal pill in it. After which, he placed it under his nose and sniffed with all his might. It is indeed the elemental heart pill. The eyes of the sloppy old man immediately brightened after having carefully examined it. This elemental heart pill was a great help to alchemists. Many instances had taken place where he tried his best to prepare some assisting medicinal pills before refining a medicinal pill. However, the best medicinal pill he could refine with such an effect was tier 7 low grade. It was not that he did not have the ability to refine an even higher grade medicinal pill. Instead, it was because he did not have the medicinal formula to do so. He he, it is not a bad thing. Lad, you are really generous. I have a good impression of you. The sloppy old man smiled as he spoke. He stuffed the medicinal pill into his storage ring. After which, his eyes were a little fiery hot as he looked at Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan grinned. He took the jade box with the snow bone ginseng in it from the jade platform and placed it in his storage ring. After which, he turned around with the intent to leave, having not seen the fiery hot eyes of the old man. Hey, wait. The sloppy old man hurriedly shouted. He could not endure any longer when he saw that Xiao Yan was about to leave. Why? Xiao Yan turned his head and looked at the sloppy old man in a somewhat doubtful manner. He he, little fellow, don't you want this copper plate? I swear to you that it is definitely an item from the ancient times. The sloppy old man pointed at the copper plate on the jade platform as he spoke with great enthusiasm. Xiao Yan glanced at the copper plate that was quietly lying on the jade platform and shook his head. He somewhat regretfully said, I cannot afford to exchange for it. No one would be willing to take out a tier 7 high-grade medicinal formula. The sloppy old man rubbed his hands together and chuckled, forget it. I shall take a step back. I don't want a tier 7 high-grade formula. As long as you trade the medicinal formula of the elemental heart pill for it, I will give it to you. What do you say? Xiao Yan was startled when he heard his words. His face was hesitant. The medicinal formula for the elemental heart pill might not be as valuable as that of a tier 7 high-grade medicinal pill, but it was also worth a lot. Using it to exchange for this copper plate had somewhat exceeded the bottom line in Xiao Yan's heart. Xiao Yan, exchange for it. It is likely that you will not lose out. This thing is indeed something from the ancient times. It is just that this old fellow doesn't know how to open it. Tian Ho Zunji's low voice once again sounded in Xiao Yan's ears just when he was hesitating. Xiao Yan nodded in his heart when he heard Tian Ho Zunji's message. Tian Ho Zunji's experiences were far from what others could compare with. Since Tian Ho Zunji had put it this way, it was likely that he felt confident. 
The sloppy old man thought that Xiao Yan was a little unwilling when he saw him remain quiet. He immediately clenched his teeth and took out another jade box from his storage ring. Resting in the jade box was another snow bone ginseng. Moreover, the color of this snow bone ginseng appeared better than the one that Xiao Yan had purchased earlier. Since you need the snow bone ginseng, it is likely that you intend to use it to refine a medicinal pill. If you hand the medicinal formula for the elemental heart pill to me, I will add another snow bone ginseng on top of this copper plate. What do you say? The sloppy old man spoke with some pain. This snow bone ginseng was something that he had originally kept for himself. A smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face upon hearing his words. He nodded. One should place a limit on everything that one did. If he were to anger this old fellow to the point where he took back the copper plate, it was likely that Xiao Yan could only leave with a bitter smile. From the eccentricity of this old fellow, it would not be strange for him to do such a thing. Xiao Yan flipped his hand. A white-colored scroll appeared in it. After which, he tossed the scroll to the old man, who hurriedly received it. Xiao Yan smiled upon seeing the excited manner of the sloppy old man. After which, he stored the better quality snow bone ginseng into his storage ring. Next, he extended his hand to grab the copper plate. The purple metal fan suddenly appeared just when Xiao Yan's hand was about to touch the copper plate. Subsequently, it swiftly pressed on the copper plate like a bolt of lightning, as a clear sound was emitted. At the same time, a faint laugh was also slowly transmitted over. Kiki, this friend, this copper plate has also caught my eye. Would you be willing to part with it? The smile on Xiao Yan's face was slowly withdrawn when the purple-colored fan appeared. A chill surged within his dark black eyes. End of chapter. Chapter 1138. Profound Shuan Sect. Xiao Yan's eyes paused on the purple-colored metal fan. After which, he slowly turned his head. There was a white-clothed young man with a warm smile behind the fan. However, this smile contained a sinister aura, no matter how one looked at it. Three old fellows stood close behind this white-clothed young man. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the bodies of the three before they solidified. The two old men toward the back had a vast and mighty aura. Their strength should have reached that of eight star Du Zongs. On the other hand, the elder who was standing at the front caused Xiao Yan's heart to be surprised. Du Zun. This elder appeared a little lazy. His hands were inserted into his sleeves, appearing similar to that of an ordinary old fellow. However, with Xiao Yan's sharp spiritual perception, he could sense that this person's strength had reached the Du Zun class. The sudden intervention of the white-clothed young man had caused numerous surprised gazes to be thrown over from the surroundings. Surprise flashed across their eyes when they saw the three old men standing behind him. From the way the young man could bring along such a lineup, it seemed that the background of this group was quite strong. Kiki, this friend. I can pay you double the price that you have given over. However, can you give this copper plate to me? The white-clothed young man smiled at Xiao Yan. The purple-colored metal fan in his hand was tightly pinned against a copper plate. He did not show any signs of releasing it. Xiao Yan's eyes stared at the white-clothed young man. A moment later, he slowly shook his head and faintly said, no. After uttering those words, he curled both of his fingers and gently flicked at the purple-colored fan in a lightning-like manner. A hidden force suddenly erupted and shook the fan until it shifted aside. After which, Xiao Yan's hand moved like lightning and grabbed the copper plate. Xiao Yan's sudden attack caused the eyes of the white-clothed young man to turn slightly chilly. The young man's counterattack was not the least bit slow. His finger flicked his fan. With a puff sound, the purple-colored fan opened. The surface of the fan cut at Xiao Yan's hand like blades. That sharp aura cut the space itself until slight crack lines formed. Xiao Yan's expression did not change because of the white-clothed young man's vicious retaliation. Xiao Yan flicked his finger on the copper plate and suddenly swept it back. His finger turned into a palm, carrying a vast and mighty strength as it violently smashed into the purple-colored fan. Bang! A low and deep noise resounded over the floor. Under this palm, the purple-colored metal fan appeared to heavily press into the jade platform. Before the white-clothed young man could pull it back, a flying leg filled with strength swung toward the face of the white-clothed man like a hanging antelope's leg. The face of the white-clothed young man slightly sank when he saw the swinging leg of Xiao Yan, which was filled with strength. However, he could only release the metal fan at this moment. He took two continuous steps back before dodging Xiao Yan's leg. Brat, how presumptuous. 
The two elders behind the white-clothed young man with eight-star Du Zong's strengths faces sank the moment the young man stepped back. They strode forward and appeared in front of the young man. Both of their hands were just like eagle claws as they grabbed toward Xiao Yan's shoulders. The two of them were just about to attack when the little fairy doctor and Yan Ho Zunji slowly appeared in front of Xiao Yan in ghost-like fashions. The little fairy doctor coldly laughed. She flicked her finger and two wisps of grayish vapor shot out. Be careful. The lazy-looking elder, who had not intervened, expression changed in the face of these two wisps of ordinary-looking grayish vapor. Both of his hands were clenched and space itself distorted until it solidified. After which, it blocked the two wisps of grayish vapor. Although the grayish vapor was blocked, there was still a faint stench that entered the nostrils of the two old men. Immediately, the Du Qi within their bodies fluctuated in a chaotic fashion. Their faces were shocked as they hurriedly stepped back, suppressing the uprising of the Du Qi in their bodies as they did so. Why? Are you intending to snatch it by force? The little fairy doctor faintly asked. She glanced at the white-clothed young man and the old man, who had distorted space, after teaching the remaining two old fellows a lesson. The two old men were pulled back by the lazy-looking elder, before they realized the situation in front of them. Some cold sweat appeared on their foreheads. Although the two of them were quite strong, they were able to sense the frightening strength of the little fairy doctor and Yan Ho Zunji. Therefore, the cries they were about to emit was forcefully swallowed by them. Two Du Zuns. This time around, they seemed to have kicked a metal plate. The white-clothed young man's eyes sank as he looked over the little fairy doctor and Yan Ho Zunji. However, he suddenly smiled and said to Xiao Yan, I am Chen Xian from the Profound Shu Insect. May I know your name? Profound Shu Insect? A thought passed through Xiao Yan's mind when he heard this name. Currently, he had an understanding of the factions within the Central Plains region. This so-called Profound Shu Insect possessed a powerful reputation. It was not the least bit inferior to the Ice River Valley. Moreover, it even had traces of surpassing the Ice River Valley, because behind this profound Shuan sect was the renowned Profound Sky Sect, one of the two renowned sects on the continent. The factions across the Central Plains region were extremely complex. The so-called One Hall, One Tower, Two Sects, Three Valleys, Four Pavilions could not completely encompass all the factions on the Central Plains. The Central Plains was incomparably vast. There were quite a number of factions that kept a low profile. The strength these factions possessed was not much weaker than the ranked factions other than the Hall of Souls and Pill Tower. Some of these hidden factions, like the Gu Clan, could not be underestimated by the Hall of Souls or the Pill Tower. There were three lower sects controlled by the Profound Sky Sect, the continent called them the Three Lower Sects. This Profound Shuan Sect was one of them. The strength of the Profound Shuan Sect was comparable to even a faction like the Ice River Valley. After all, even if one did not give the Profound Shu Insect face, they would have to give the Profound Sky Sect face. This ancient sect had been survived through the generations for thousands of years. Its foundation strength was frightening. I am just an unknown person of the younger generation. There is no need for you to pay any attention. I am the first to find this copper plate, and I do not have any intention of selling it for the time being. Although Xiao Yan knew that this profound Shuan sect was not an ordinary sect, Xiao Yan would not hand this copper plate to the other party because of it. He was not even afraid of the Hall of Souls, much less this profound Shuan sect. A faint gloominess flashed across Chen Xian's dark face when Xiao Yan spoke these unceremonious words. He immediately let out a cold laugh. His gaze turned to the sloppy old man. Due to Xiao Yan having flicked the copper plate earlier, the copper plate had landed in the old man's hands. As long as you hand the copper plate to me, I will pay a price that is double his. A chill flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes in the face of Chen Xian's words that suggested he was rich and powerful. This fellow was really someone who would want a mile if one gave him an inch. The sloppy old man played with the copper plate in his hand. He looked at Xiao Yan and Chen Xian with some interest. A moment later, he finally smiled and tossed the copper plate to Xiao Yan in front of Chen Xian's eyes. He said, everything must be done in an orderly manner. The old me is not someone who would do anything for money. Since I have already accepted his thing, I will naturally not turn around and sell it to other people. A smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face after he received the copper plate. He cupped his hands to the sloppy old man and smiled as he said, thank you old mister. The sloppy old man waved his hand and said, this is the territory of the pill tower. I really don't believe that anyone would dare behave atrociously here. 
forget about the profound Shuan sect. Even if a member of the profound Sky sect were to come here today, they would still have to keep themselves in check. An ugly expression flashed across Chen Xian's sinister face when he heard the words of the sloppy old man. His eyes were ice cold as he stared at the old man. After which, he turned to Xiao Yan and slowly said, an additional friend is equivalent to an additional path. Offending someone for something that you are unsure of is not reasonable. Xiao Yan smiled. He put the copper plate in his storage ring in front of Chen Xian. After which, he raised his head and looked at Chen Xian. He said, I'm sorry. I think that I am not blessed to be a friend of yours. I also need this thing. However, if you have the patience to wait, I might give it to you for free once I study it. Xiao Yan once again cupped his hands to the sloppy old man after speaking. Finally, he raised his foot and walked toward the stairs. Humph. Xiao Yan had just raised his foot when the two old men, who had just suffered some losses, shifted their bodies and blocked his path. The smile on Xiao Yan's face was slowly withdrawn after his path was blocked. Before he could open his mouth, two majestic auras slowly surged out of the little fairy doctors and Yan Ho Zunji's bodies like floodwater. If you do not get lost in three breaths time, you'll die. The little fairy doctor's grayish purple eyes were dangerous as she stared at the two people blocking their path. Killing intent churned within her clear, cold voice. The many people on the top floor were attracted by the auras that had suddenly erupted. However, they were not surprised by the auras of the two Duzuns. All of those who could come to this floor had seen many great things. It was frequent for them to meet with elite Duzuns. Naturally, there was nothing for them to feel surprised about. The expressions of the two old men changed in the face of the frightening auras of the little fairy doctor and John Ho Zunji. Under this pressure, they reflexively backed off. This was because they could vaguely sense that if they were even a little slower, they might really end up lying here as two cold corpses today. Xiao Yan's dark black eyes faintly glanced at the two red-faced old men who had swiftly pulled back. After which, he turned his head and looked at Chen Xian by the side, who had narrowed his eyes. When their eyes met, Xiao Yan said, don't offend me. Otherwise, you will not leave this pill region alive. Trust me. After those words sounded, Xiao Yan ignored Chen Xian's face as it turned chilly. He turned around and walked to the stairs. The little fairy doctor, Tian Ho Zunji, and Yi Zhang by the side hurriedly followed. Chen Xian's eyes were dark and dense as he glared at the backs of Xiao Yan's group. Only when this group disappeared from his sight did the corner of his mouth part into a dark icy cold smile. Old Xuan, help me investigate this group of people. Kiki, it is the first time that this young master has met anyone who would threaten me. How interesting. End of chapter. Chapter 1139. Spirit Nourishment Powder. Xiao Yan's group successfully descended from the top floor. After crossing the final flight of steps, Xiao Yan finally stopped. He turned his head, watched the frowning Yi Zhong, and involuntarily smiled. He asked, is Elder Yi Zhong worried about that group? Yi Zhong nodded his head with a bitter smile upon hearing this. He sighed, the profound Shu insect is quite strong. It is unexpected that we have met them here. From the looks of the white-clothed man's guards, it is likely that he has quite a high position within the profound Shu insect. With the style of the profound Shu insect, where they take revenge for everything, it is likely that they will not simply let things be after we have offended them today. Xiao Yan faintly smiled and replied, this is something that we have no choice over. You need not be overly concerned. I will receive any tactics he forms. The current Xiao Yan possessed the qualification to utter these words. With his current strength, he would not be afraid of anyone below the level of a Du Zun if he completely erupted. Moreover, if he really went crazy and threw an extermination fire lotus, even an elite Du Zun would have to temporarily seek shelter. Moreover, there were two genuine elite Du Zuns currently beside him. This lineup and strength was sufficient to fight some top tier faction. Although the profound Shu insect's background was tough, it was impossible for Xiao Yan to hand the copper plate to Chen Xian given his character. Since both parties would not back down, a conflict was bound to occur. Yi Zhang found that he was unable to say anything more after hearing Xiao Yan's words. After experiencing the matters from last time, he had been thinking that Xiao Yan possessed a powerful background behind him. Otherwise, how was it possible for him to force back a super strong expert like Binghi? Xiao Yan was naturally unaware of what Yi Zhang was thinking. After descending the stairs, he took one lap around the second floor. Finally, he found the stall Xin Lan occupied. Xin Lan, who was bored waiting for a buyer to find her, 
was joyful when she saw Xiao Yan's group. She hurriedly stood up. How is it? Xiao Yan smiled and asked. He he, that old fellow has finally given in. Xin Lan laughed. After which, her pretty eyes turned to the red-robed elder, who was looking at them from a short distance away. Are there any other gains? Xiao Yan smiled. This old fellow failed to endure. None. The thousand-year-old green spiritual vine that you mentioned is an extremely rare medicinal ingredient. I have asked quite a number of people from this place, but none of them have it. Xin Lan shook her head as she helplessly answered. Xiao Yan nodded. He was not surprised by this result. After all, the thousand-year-old green spiritual vine was indeed very rare. Moreover, this thing was something one needed to have when refining some high-tier medicinal pills. Even if some people owned this thing, seldom would anyone be willing to trade it for other things. Xiao Yan got Xin Lan to pack up. After which, he turned around and walked to the red-robed old man, who had a bitter smile. Xiao Yan grinned at the old man and took out a jade bottle from his storage ring. Don't say that I have caused you to suffer a loss. This is an elemental heart pill. I will use it to exchange for your blood essence demon fruit. You have gained more from this transaction. The bitter smile on the red-robed elder's face disappeared upon hearing that the pill Xiao Yan had taken out was the elemental heart pill. He curiously examined it before nodding in a satisfied manner. If you have any more blood essence demon fruit, 10,000-year-old green spiritual vine, or snow bone ginseng, you can come to the Yi Manor in the north to look for me. I will take all of them. Moreover, the price I will offer will definitely be to your satisfaction. Xiao Yan randomly picked up the jade box from the crystal platform and touched the blood essence demon fruit in it. A creamy feeling spread from the tip of his finger. Only then did he nod his head and store the item in his storage ring. At the same time, he uttered those words with a smile. The red-robed old man also grinned and nodded upon hearing Xiao Yan's words. The elemental heart pill was of great help to an alchemist. Moreover, it was quite troublesome to refine it. Even some alchemists who had reached the middle grade of the seventh tier had a low chance of success when refining this medicinal pill. This was why the elemental heart pill was so expensive. The old man had indeed gained more by using this medicinal ingredient to exchange for an elemental heart pill. Xiao Yan did not continue to stay after informing the red-robed old man. He led his group to the stairs and descended them before leaving the alchemist trade fair. After which, they hurried back to the Yi Manor. Xiao Yan anxiously got Yi Zhong and the rest to shut the manor's door after having returned to the Yi Manor. He led Tian Ho Zun Ji and the little fairy doctor into a room after that. The three of them surrounded a table within a room. That strange copper plate they had obtained earlier sat on the table. The copper plate was pale yellow in color. Many curly earthworm-like green rust covered the surface. This copper rust had eroded and covered some of the drawings on the copper plate. Old Mr. Yao, are you certain this thing is worth as much as the elemental heart pill's medicinal formula? Xiao Yan stared at this copper plate that could not appear any more ordinary. He had already used various methods on it. Even the drawings on the copper plate had been carefully copied by him. However, he was still unable to obtain even the least bit of information from the copper plate. Tian Ho Zunji smiled as he watched Xiao Yan, who had ended up empty-handed despite using various tactics. He let out two bursts of laughter and purposefully said in an unfathomable manner. Lad, if it is so easy to undo the secret on it, do you think that you would have the chance to enjoy its benefits? Xiao Yan involuntarily smiled when he heard Tian Ho Zunji's words. He said, in that case, can old Mr. Yao please tell me just how great this thing is? Tian Ho Zunji smiled in a pleased manner upon hearing Xiao Yan's tone. He extended his hand and took the copper plate. After which, he placed it in his hand, tilted it to the fire lamp, and waved it at Xiao Yan. Have you discovered anything? Xiao Yan carefully studied this copper plate. He could clearly see the twisting earthworm-like rust under the reflection of the light. He helplessly shook his head and said, Old Mr. Yao, please don't keep us guessing. How impatient. Tian Ho Zunji shook his head. He curled his finger and a thread of Du Qi agglomerated at the tip. It transformed into a tiny Du Qi needle. After which, Tian Ho Zunji controlled this extremely dense Du Qi needle and carefully inserted it into the green-colored copper rust on the surface of the copper plate. Under Tian Ho Zunji's careful removal, the green-colored copper dust began to slowly fall and land on the surface of the table. Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor watched what Tian Ho Zunji did. They faced each other. Both of them were at a loss. Tian Ho Zunji ignored these two lost sheep. 
he spent nearly half an hour before he had removed the green-colored rust from the copper plate. Just when Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor thought that Yan Ho Zunji was about to explain the mystery of the copper plate, Tian Ho Zunji randomly tossed the copper plate aside in front of their stunned gazes. This. The corner of Xiao Yan's mouth twitched when he saw what Yan Ho Zunji did. Xiao Yan really did not understand what he was playing at. Ugh, the two of you might be quite strong, but your experience is indeed lacking. Tian Ho Zunji raised his head and helplessly shook his head when he saw the expressions of the other two. After which, he curled his palm and a suction force was emitted. The green-colored copper rust was pulled into his palm. After which, it agglomerated into a thumb-sized green-colored ball. The true secret does not lie with the copper plate. Instead, it lines with this inconspicuous copper rust. How can you only use common sense to deduce an item from ancient times? Tian Ho Zunji flicked his finger and tossed the green-colored copper rust to Xiao Yan. He said, use the heavenly flame to burn it. I also wish to see what exactly is inside. Xiao Yan carefully received the green copper ball. He glanced over it before summoning a cluster of jade green flames with a somewhat doubtful attitude. After which, he swept the green-colored copper ball into the flame. After this burning, Xiao Yan finally discovered some of the unique aspects of this copper rust. He found that this copper ball did not show any traces of melting, regardless of how high the temperature of the jade green flame was. There is indeed something here. Xiao Yan quietly and joyfully cried out in his heart. He hurriedly raised the temperature. This continued for over 10 minutes before the green-colored copper ball finally began to show signs of melting. With the increase of the melting of the copper ball, Xiao Yan suddenly discovered a gradual change in the green color on the copper ball. Tiny pieces of yellow dust quietly fell from the melting copper a little at a time. Finally, they remained suspended within the flame. They flickered just like spirits, hinting like they were filled with a dense spirituality. The faint yellow dust specks gradually fell. After around two minutes, they ceased falling. That copper ball disappeared the instant after all the dust fell. Following the annihilation of the copper ball, five pieces of pale yellow dust remained suspended within the flame. They flickered and seemed to be filled with a spiritual luster. There were no other changes no matter how the flame burned. This is. Xiao Yan's eyes were startled when he saw the five pale yellow specks of dust within the flame. He felt a little lost. They were clearly not things he recognized. After being at a loss for a moment, Xiao Yan's eyes slid to Tian Ho Zunji beside him. However, Xiao Yan saw that he was deep in thought. It was only a long while later before Tian Ho Zunji slowly exhaled and said in a gruff voice, If I have guessed correctly, these things should be something that only existed during ancient times. Spirit nourishment powder. He he, it is correct to trust the old me. Little fellow, if you compare this thing to a tier 7 middle grade medicinal formula, you are the one has gained a great deal. Spirit nourishment powder? Xiao Yan raised his eyebrows as he watched Tian Ho Zunji's expression suddenly become joyful. His mouth softly muttered some words. End of chapter. Chapter 1140. Anonymous Word Formula. What is the use of this spirit nourishment powder? Xiao Yan's eyes were shining as he looked at the five tiny pale yellow specks of dust within the room. He licked his mouth and inquired. Tian Ho Zunji fondled his beard. He mused for a moment before slowly replying, this spirit nourishment power was quite renowned even during the ancient times. It is not only an item one must have in order to refine medicinal pills tier 8 and above, but it is also able to nourish one's soul, if the dust merges with the soul, gradually strengthening the spirituality of one's soul. From there, one could step into that so-called soul state. Joy surged into Xiao Yan's eyes the moment he heard Tian Ho Zunji's words. It seemed that these inconspicuous little things hid great ability. During ancient times, some of the alchemists who had touched the soul state would try their best to obtain this spirit nourishment powder. This thing is just like a magnet that attracts spirituality. If it merges with one's soul, it would enable the soul to fill with spirituality without one realizing it. Moreover, it also possesses a good catalytic effect when it comes to some unique conditions where one would gain an understanding. Yan Ho Zunji smiled and replied. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. The joy in his eyes was difficult to hide. He really did not take a loss from this transaction. The value of this so-called spirit nourishment powder was indeed far from what the medicinal formula for the elemental heart pill could compare with. Moreover, the thing that surprised him was that this powder could strengthen the spirituality of one's soul. 
The soul state required the soul to be able to bestow a medicinal pill with spirituality. However, the precondition of this effect was that one's soul must be filled with sufficient spirituality. Nevertheless, if one did not have a special method to train one's soul, one would not be able to sense this so-called spirituality. Moreover, this kind of soul training method had completely disappeared after a countless number of years of history. Hence, one could only borrow the help of external items or lucky encounters in order to enter a mysterious condition and raise the spirituality of one's soul. Similar to the two previous experience that Xiao Yan. Unfortunately, this kind of condition was something that one could luckily encounter but not attempt to seek out. Naturally, one could not enter it just because one wanted to. Hence, this kind of mysterious item that could strengthen the spirituality within one's soul had become exceptionally rare and precious in this era. Only a small number of tier 8 alchemists are able to refine this kind of spirit nourishment powder after learning how to refine it. However, I think that the refining method of the spirit nourishment powder has already been lost. Tian Ho Zunji's eyes were a little curious as he stared at the shiny powder within the flame. I have only seen such a thing in some ancient books and have never personally seen it. If you wish to refine a tier 8 medicinal pill in the future, the chances of success will be significantly raised if you add the spirit nourishment powder into it, after the refinement, the pill will be even purer than other tier 8 medicinal pills. Surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's face after he had listened to Tian Ho Zunji's words. It was the first time that he had heard that one needed to add this so-called spirit nourishment powder when refining a tier 8 medicinal pill. Kiki, the secret of this thing can be considered to have been broken, and the old me can be considered to have finished my task. Otherwise, you will end up nagging my ear, saying that I have caused you to lose a medicinal formula. Tian Ho Zunji smiled after seeing Xiao Yan's face. After which, he stood up and said, it is already getting quite late, and you should rest early. Tomorrow is the so-called five great clan test. Do not tarry. That old fellow Yi Zhong has placed all of his hope on you. Tian Ho Zunji turned around and left after speaking. The little fairy doctor also said something to Xiao Yan. She briefly hesitated before slowly leaving. Xiao Yan smiled as he watched the two of them leave the room. His eyes turned back to the five pale yellow pieces of dust within the flame in front of him. After musing for a moment, he finally could not resist beckoning with his hand. A soul nourishment powder escaped from Xiao Yan's flame and remained suspended in front of him. Xiao Yan slowly shut both of his eyes after staring at the spirit nourishment powder. While his eyes were shut, a suction force suddenly surged out. This suction force caused the shiny, pale yellow speck to transform into a tiny ray of light that shot into Xiao Yan's forehead before it finally disappeared. Xiao Yan's body intensely trembled when this powder merged with his forehead. His face suddenly tightened as waves of faint pain were emitted from his head. Xiao Yan frowned. He endured the faint pain he felt. Based on his senses, the spirit nourishment powder was like a bullet as it ruthlessly attacked his soul before penetrating through it. Fortunately, this kind of pain did not last for long before it gradually disappeared. Xiao Yan only sighed in relief after feeling that the pain gradually disappeared. However, he had just sighed in relief when he suddenly sensed his surroundings form a strange fluctuation. Threads of a faint, unusual flow seeped from this fluctuation before slowly invading his forehead. After this unusual flow entered his body, Xiao Yan immediately felt a wild joy. He sensed a spiritual aura contained in his soul begin to grow at an extremely slow pace. It is actually spiritual aura? Xiao Yan had thought of all methods to increase the spiritual aura within his soul, but he had failed to increase his soul by even a little. However, with this spirit nourishment powder, spiritual aura, which could not be improved by relying on an ordinary method, could be extracted by him and merged with his soul. Xiao Yan felt a wild joy as he sensed a strengthening spiritual aura within his soul. It was a long while later before he gradually focused his mind. After he calmed down, a pale yellow dust of light vaguely appeared in his mind. An unusual suction force was being emitted from it. This kind of suction force was weak, but it appeared to possess a kind of strange strength that extracted spiritual energy, which many experts could do nothing about, from the surroundings. The seemingly chaotic spiritual aura slowly seeped out of the space around. It continuously entered through the space between Xiao Yan's brows. This spiritual aura absorption continued for nearly three hours before the glow and suction force emitted by the pale yellow dust gradually weakened. Clearly, this kind of spirit nourishment powder was unable to last for long. The glow emitted by this light particle dimmed. 
A long while later, a slight crack suddenly sounded within Xiao Yan's head. The spirit nourishment powder cracked apart, and that strange suction force came to a halt. The surrounding spiritual aura immediately disappeared. It was futile regardless of how Xiao Yan tried to suck it in. Xiao Yan involuntarily laughed upon sensing this change. However, just when he was about to withdraw from this condition, feeling helpless, the spirit nourishment powder, which was about to disappear from his mind, suddenly unleashed an intense glow. Even Xiao Yan's soul felt an intense pain under this glow. The intense pain gradually subsided. While Xiao Yan was still feeling panicked, an extremely vague elderly mumble was emitted from where the light erupted. The limit of soul. Shut the heavenly spirit. Absorb the spirit forge, the soul. The indistinct elderly voice softly resounded in Xiao Yan's mind. It appeared just like sacred words, causing one to gain a trance-like feeling. The trance-like feeling did not cause Xiao Yan to become absent-minded. Although the elderly voice in his mind was unclear, he still tried to remember as much as possible. This elderly voice resounded three times before it completely scattered. Xiao Yan slowly opened his tightly shut eyes. There was an expression of contemplation on his face. It is rumored that some experts are able to leave behind a spiritual imprint on certain items. If I have guessed correctly, that elderly voice from earlier should have been left behind by an expert from the ancient times. However, due to the great amount of time that has passed, the voice has become indistinct. Xiao Yan softly muttered to himself. The limit of soul. Shut the heavenly spirit. Absorb the spirit forge, the soul. Xiao Yan frowned and softly muttered. A moment later, he thought, it seems to be a kind of word formula. However, it is clearly incomplete. I wonder what it is used for. Xiao Yan mused for a moment to no avail. He could not help but helplessly shake his head. After which, he stored the four remaining pieces of spirit nourishment powder into his strong ring. The effect of this thing, being able to absorb the spiritual aura, was too important to Xiao Yan. Unfortunately, it could only last a very short period of time. He could not afford to squander them. Hence, he could not easily use it. After all, he might need these things to increase his chance of success when he refined medicinal pills in the future. Xiao Yan softly sighed as he sat cross-legged on the bed. After which, he slowly shut his eyes. His mouth also moved slightly while he did so. If one were to carefully listen, one would discover that Xiao Yan was whispering the word formula he had obtained from the spirit nourishment powder earlier. A low and indistinct sound slowly resounded around the room. This continued for half an hour before the calm interior of the room finally began to form an unusual ripple. Swoosh! Xiao Yan's tightly shut eyes suddenly opened when that ripple was formed. His face was filled with shock. An instant earlier, he had sensed the presence of spiritual aura within his surroundings. This kind of thing had only happened twice to him when he had entered the strange conditions before. However, Xiao Yan was certain that he had not entered that kind condition earlier. Xiao Yan tightly knit his brows. A moment later, he suddenly clenched his hand. A glaring glint erupted within his dark black eyes. Is this because of that word formula? End of chapter.